Okay, we are live. We've got about, uh, you know, eight minutes to go before we get uh, we get to see all this action. We've got a bunch of people going. Check out this new uh, countdown video that we made for you so you can look and see all of the heroes that are going to be playing today. Uh, we moved it back an hour. We went from four to eight, and now we're playing five to nine. Um, you can check out this loop. It tells you about the um, tells you about all the players who are going to be playing. Uh, it highlights some of the promotions we have going on: free membership for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, veterans. Uh, come in and get free membership. Uh, it also has the staff appreciation. If you work at any card room or casino, even if it's not poker, let's say you, uh, you're you a craps dealer in Choctaw, come on down and get half price on your time. And here we have the low stakes rounding class that Hayden and Texas Kim are uh, starting. And uh, that's a $1,200 weekend. Uh, that includes 20 hours of play here at Poker House Dallas. Four of those hours are going to be on the live stream, playing a 1-3 game with your money and you get to have that. We're not going to broadcast it. We're just going to save it for you, give you a USB drive to watch and study, and the next day come back and spend a couple of hours with Hayden and Texas Kim going over your play um, and how you can do better, how you can maximize your profits. $1,200 value uh, for a weekend. You can make that up in a good session. It's well worth the price. It's restricted to the first nine players. Um, not restricted, it's limited to the first nine players. And I think they've already got five or six people signed up. So uh, next time that that little thumbnail pops up, check out that email address. Send them an email if you want to get. There it is, kim at pkrventures.com. All right. Now, along with that 20 hours, you get the four-hour recording on a USB drive. You get the raw footage along with the um, live commentary from, what you doing? Oh, right on, well, you won't need that for five more minutes. That's fine, right on, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, we got Eddie the Asian sensation just joining me in the booth and he's turning stuff off and turning stuff on and uh, so it's good. So the other advertisement we have is uh, Mark's game, Wednesday night. It's a it, Wednesday day. It starts at 10 a.m. It's a 1K max buy, and they play 1-3 here at Poker House Dallas. We put them back in the, uh, in the private room. Uh, it's open to anybody, but it's, it's considered a private game because they do some fun stuff on that table that you agree to do. When you're on that table, they do the seven deuce game. They do run it uh, multiple times. They do unlimited straddles. They do a lot of fun stuff uh, that we don't do on the regular floor. You scared me. I thought that was live. Um, so that's uh, that's Mark's game. When that pops up, actually, that's not going to pop up because. Uh, it's not on the video. It's a thumbnail we made later, but we will show it to you later. Here's Frankie, next gen Frankie. He's going to be playing today. <laughs> J Rock, occupation, professional pickleball player. Yeah, he, that was a troll. Was that like, was a troll. We went, well, okay. He, I didn't know. He built schools. Like when I say built, like administration, right. from an administrative perspective, and like these like academies type private schools in DFW area. So I was like, you don't really play for... He's like, yeah, I play for Tom Brady's team. I was like, that's dope. He's like, no, I really don't. I said, okay. <laughs> He's like, dude, I believed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... That's awesome. So, got another fun action-packed lineup for you guys. OFC is back. Yeah, this... Habib is back. German Moneymaker is back. Yeah, we got Danny Marks back. Got Habib in the one seat. Going to have J-Rock in the two seat. Gator, Paul Tassone in the three seat. OFC in the four seat. Attorney Carlos Cortez in the five seat. Frankie from Next Gen in the six seat. Danny Marks in the black hoodie. 
And the seventh seed also have a German moneymaker in the eighth seed and nine seed Bridge Mike. So another fast action pack. Look for big pots. Hopefully as big as crazy as last Saturday. That last Saturday's five five ten game. For a little bit ridiculous. Had ninety two K at the table. Last night we had eighty seven K. In the in the big game. In the bigger game. So this this is a three K max buy in. Match the stack. And I believe everybody sat down with three K. Yeah. No one that I Nobody know. short bite. Yeah. Right. Now, when you start playing these stakes, everybody's more than likely going to buy in for the max initially. Now, they may not necessarily match the stack, but, you know, at, at the lower stakes, like 1-2 or the 500 cap or the 1-3, 1-K. they get the $300 yeah, buy-in Yeah, like they can, you know, middles. when I say we don't, we don't, we raise the minimum for the live streams because we don't want people to short buy in just to try to, right. you know, just get on the. be famous. What's up? Let's move it. They can't see that. I know, but I'm saying. Oh, it's in the way. That's thinking. Oh, that means that he, his cards have not been read yet. Got it. Yeah. All right. So, again, we got some of our regulars here in the chat. We got Lego out on the floor playing right now. We got Frank in the chat. We got Poker Monkey Cup. Devin. One of our cameras is off. Ro -ro. I'm gonna go fix it. Go fix it. So before Pop that back up, so I think we're going to have to do a little camera adjustment real quick outside. There may be a little bit where you guys, the camera is not going to rotate. It's going to go black for a second. So we're going to address that right now. But in the meantime, let's get going. Let's play some games again. Let's give away some free stuff. All right. Did Eric give away free points or not? Because I don't care if he did it or not. I'm in the booth flying solo for the time being. I think I'm just going to give away a thousand points. You know what? You guys were here before the chat. I'm going to go 2,500. Who knows? May I give away more merchandise for the stream? Again, 5, 5, 10, match the stack. Sinister, Sinister Saturday here at Poker House Dallas. Change of time. Yep. Eric's going to check something here real quick. Yeah. Did you already give him points? I did not yet. Okay, good, because I will double give him points. So that's that camera over there. Yep. Got right. it? I know what happened. That light burned out when I removed it. Got it. All right, so, whoop. I blow from you. If you guys want, I don't do that one. Okay. <laughs> did you see it? Not yet, not yet. Yeah. All right, we're going to pick up action here after this hand. I got you. Yeah. I did it with D in the cage. All right, here we go. Action on the way. Going to start this hand. Stream off with a four-card PLO flip. OFC is supposed to be here. He's on his way. He's, he'll be here in time. But here we go with this. And Frankie, let's turn up this table mic real quick. Let's get you guys going. Frankie starting off the stream. Nice. Picking up a quads. Turning quads here. Again, everybody puts in $100. Still working on our camera issue here. Where everything's working in terms of like the cards and whatnot showing up on the screen, but with the exception of the one camera. So you guys on your end are gonna miss actual camera action on seat one and two just for the time being. Who? No, no, no. The Don Don Willow. Yeah.
All right, let's kick off action here. First hand. All right, we're going to get cut up on action. Again, let you guys know there's something issues with that. Oh, Gator here with Kings on the button. Going to make it 100. Money can make are going to call. Defend the straddle. King's still good here. Moneymaker with some backdoor equity. Backdoor spades. Getting a bit half pot here on this flop. Jack of diamonds. Okay, we're going to check back. Seven of hearts on the river. Changes really not, not much. Brings in 9-10. Now, Judd and Maker here with a 9, knowing, he, knowing that he blocks straights. He's going to have a lot of the jacks into the big blind and under the gun straddle position. Tough, tough spot here after checking back turn. Moneymaker representing straight, knowing that he has a nine. Very relevant card on this specific hand, blocking straights. Little table talk between Gator and Moneymaker. So, make Moneymaker last night making his live stream debut here at Poker House. It's about 45% pot, makes it very value heavy. Even Gator saying that it feels like a value bet. Gator in a tough spot. Now, Gator played, made his Poker House live stream debut last Saturday, had a 15K win. Gator in the three seat, kind of letting everybody know, just moved here to the DFW Metroplex area. Hasn't been had the opportunity to play that much because got a kiddo. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, if a seven don't come, I might shoot $4,000 bluff and lose a bunch of money. Yeah, it's supposed to win the works poker. Double straddle. Looks like the straddle's going to be on for a good majority of the stream. Still having issues with the one. So, and you're going to see it black on for just a second. Eric here in the booth going to try to take care of that. Habib here flopping the eight high flush draw. Danny with the ace of diamonds blocking at the nut flush draw on a paired board here. Queen of spades on the turn. Let's see what Danny's gonna do here. It's gonna be 450 to pot about a thousand. Nine of hearts. Danny with the best hand currently with ace high. No one with a pair. And a lot of times on these runouts, the board has three of a kind on it. Ace high has enough showdown value to potentially win, but Habib here gonna bet 900. It's a pot of about 1,500. 
About 60, 65% pot, two thirds pot. Putting Danny in a tough spot. Potentially re representing a hand with a seven. All right, so I was told in about 15 minutes you're and everything is going to be good to go with camera one. Oh, so you guys haven't been watching anything. Sorry. Hi. Uh, poker in the dark. Ah. Well, there you go. All right. Ah, they played the three hands here. Okay, so. guys. I'm sorry about that. You missed the first three hands. What happened was we had a little, uh, one of the cameras came unplugged and I had to go fix it. So I left the production booth and did not tell Eddie to switch over from the video I had rolling to the live stream. So... That's my fault, y'all. Well, no, I'm going to take the blame for that. Biggest pot's the one you don't see, Eric says. So all they saw was blackness after yep. that commercial got done. <laughs> and then my face, when I saw the screen, I'm like, oh. Oh, did you turn on? Did you? No, I, oh. I had that other screen because we were testing camera one. So. Uh, no, they won't see that at all. They only see what's on here. So all they saw was blackness for the whole time. Oh, well. Now, for the next 15 minutes until this camera's fixed on the delay, um, when the one. camera's on one and two, the camera's just going to go black because uh, it got unplugged. There's Habib, or excuse me, Habib in the one seat and J-Rock in the two seat. Probably because we were messing around with cameras. So, and if we manually did it 15 minutes ago, there it goes, right, right there, there. now All it's right. black. What, what, what that delay was, was OFC just got to the table and V had to go back and, and uh, make him not sitting out. Gotcha. That's so, why we took a second. Again, this does not look like it's a straddled pot. OFC going to make it 45 in the hijack with, or J-Rock going to make it 45 plus one with pocket sixes. You know what's horrible about one camera one being down? Habib's in every dang pot. Yeah. So. <laughs> why couldn't it be camera five or something stupid? Yeah. Uh, so it takes me 15 minutes to realize it's dead and go fix it. You're gonna see me run around there with the uh, ladder, with the ladder trying to fix everything. King 10 three board, Yanny flopping top pair. Ooh, was the three better from out of position? Have we done it? Sure, why not, Devin? We'll do a biggest game lot of the game. Let's do this. Because of the technical difficulties, I'm going to give you guys... Give him some points. Give him points. You're good. Right there, the Google to the right. Yep. Oh, is that one? We need 2,500 points. Holy oh, cow. I know. Inflation. Well, I give... I give Carlos 50,000. So looks like the action's obviously on J-Rock here with pocket sixes. Yeah. It's going to be tough for him to continue here. Same thing for OSC. The good thing is at least we'll be able to see the cards. Yeah, we'll see the cards. We just, that camera's dead on him. Um, now, let's, for fun, guys, um, they're talking about it. Cortez in the five seat, Carlos, uh, he's going to sponsor the hoodie giveaway today. Oh, let's so, go. Biggest stack. Largest stack. Um, I want you guys to put in the amount that you think it's going to be. Largest stack. Let's do. Do we want to just go largest stack of the stream? The largest pot of the stream. Largest pot. That, I, I, I did mean largest pot. Sorry, I said largest stack, but I meant largest pot. So, uh, Carlos Cortez in the five seat is going to sponsor this hoodie giveaway. Very respected. Used to be a judge here in the DFW Metroplex area. Also represented the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders in a lawsuit against them really? in the one. So really? he defended them. Yeah. Wow. So very, very, very. 
Devin set the bar high, 25,786. It's a 5, 5, 10 stream, Devin. So, I mean, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no, for the record. So. <laughs> Tori's back in here. She's the one that typed ecstasy in X the T T C, And I was the one that read it out loud. And by the third time, when I said it fast enough, I realized what X she was saying. XTC. So, Tori, thanks for coming back in this chat. Hopefully, you're going to make it out tomorrow for the next-gen meetup game tournament. Here we go. Largest pot, 14,595. All, right. All right. Since you didn't know what the stakes were, we're going to give you a little reprieve. We'll take that. We'll, we'll take that. Danny again picking up King Queen, this time on the button. Back to back hands. Did we up miss from the any race. big hands? Uh, yeah, there was a big bluff by Habib. Habib. Oh. And he came and told me about it, and I feel bad, but I don't want to break his heart. So. Okay. All right. There will be one, or we, we it already saw happened. It. it happened already. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Habib's got open ender. J Rock's got middle pair. Danny's just got two overcards. It checks around. Queen. Queen. Danny hits his overcard. Yep. Let's go. Look for him to definitely bet here, get some money in the pot. Matter of sizing. The check to him. 200. It's a pot of 300. About two thirds pot here. Danny calls with top here. And Habib gets oh, there on the river. He nails it. Nails his gutter. Let's see if he's going to check here. He, gets there on the river, shows 10 9. I'm not positive what happened. I, I hate that that camera's going to be dead for 10 more yeah. minutes. Yeah. I'm going to check out these stack sizes. Everybody bought him for 3K. Danny's got 4,900, so he must have been the recipient of that bluff. Nope. Or Carlos or uh, Bridge Mike. Or actually, he actually yeah, everybody's crushing. I think crushing. He, he added on. Okay, so some of these guys added on. When, who, who won the pot? I don't know because I may miss a hand. Uh, you so. know what? It was, it was Danny. He's up 2,000 according to my stats. Yeah. So. Everybody else added on. But. Because cumulative right now, if we go look at that. It shows everybody else being down a okay. little bit. Frankie's up a little bit. Danny's up a bunch. And Danny was up even more, except for he just lost a pot to, yeah. uh, to that straight. Can you see OFC in the four seat rocking the poker house hoodie? It's the last night we played a game. Highest VPIP gets a sweater. So I said, I announced to the table, whoever has the highest VPIP tonight gets a sweater. So I don't know what's going to happen because OFC is going to be in the running. Look at Dan this. Danny what was his VPIP 61? It was like 56 to 60 something like that. I know him and Habib were definitely up there. So I think it was 61 because the nine seat kept trying to get in. Uh, Rye guy. Right. And he got up to 59. He wanted to get above 60. Look at this. OFC turning two top two pair on a paired board. Danny with ace king. Let me know you got Yes, yes. Whenever he looks like that. So to Danny finish the story, OFC won the VPIP game, and he's rocking that hoodie yeah. right now. So are they playing the show one? I don't know if they are or not. He just asked. All right. Now, the, uh, we'll continue to talk so you know that it's not your fault that this camera is going out. Um, that is totally on us where uh, we had to plug in one of those cameras. Yeah, Tori, there is an issue with the camera one, so... In about 10 minutes or so, seven, eight yeah. minutes, it's going to be We're good We're on a 15 minute delay. As soon as I saw the issue, I went out and fixed it. Yeah, bridge mic here on the button with the nine is going to make game. it a hundred. So. Just beware of the low cards. Oh, see, always does not like to give up his straddle, so. 
Now, when you're playing against somebody who defends really wide, do you does that increase your raising? Like instead of going preflop, not necessarily. And I mean, I guess you could theoretically, knowing that OFC is going to be in the straddle, like you know, he'd be more inclined to call the third blind or defend his straddle, depending on how many straddles are out there. So right. you could size accordingly based off knowing that OFC when when OFC is in the third blind uh, or. The under the gun straddle and again who the race is coming from where it's coming from the size of it so yes to your question you can definitely adjust your size that's one thing that i kind of advocate for players you know a lot of times they'll just like if there's a ray you know like let's say there's limp limp you know you're supposed to raise 3x plus all the limps right on a table like that if it's a really juicy table that's a really loose pass that like to see a lot of flops you can size up right accordingly instead of making it you know let's say it's five, like five dollar straddle or so five dollar straddle right two callers and instead of making it 25 you can make it standard open in texas is like not six dollars on a one two table it's like minimum open 12 to 15 and so instead of making that hand 25 you can make it like 35 40 to to, to punish the limpers so and charge them look at this all these players with some reasonable hands have you pocket tens j -Rock, ace king after a raise from danny in plus two with 10 8 suited flops top pair habib flopping top set oh wow this is gonna be good diamond board two diamonds on the board ofc open ended don't see any jacks out don't see any sixes out could have been folded, but. Bro, Habib coming in with a big, a big raise from Danny on a two, two diamond board. Gonna make it 1600 after a, 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 a bet from OFC and a call from Danny. So OFC was open ended. Danny flop top pair, but Habib flops top set. So I guess he's kind of worried about the diamonds. Wanted to charge those potential draws. Diamond wants to charge diamonds. Wants to charge a hand like OFC had with eight nine. What's going on, Jacob? Jacob was playing last week. I miss you too, Jacob. Come back to Texas. Where's he at now? Is that, is that Smokey? Yeah, who's the guy on the ladder? That guy. I know that guy. Watch out for him. Yeah. So here you're going to see I'm diagnosing the bad camera. And uh, 15 minutes ago. Well, I know how we can prevent that from happening. Upgrading cameras. Mm. This this is actually wasn't a camera problem. It was the uh, adapter from okay. the. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Let's uh, update let's the cameras. Just, let's just upgrade the cameras. I What's know. going on, Smoke? I hope things are going well out there in. Yeah. Midland. 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 Yeah. 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 Kojaks. Thanks for tuning in, Eddie, the Asian sensation in the booth, along with Senor Eric. The almighty chop block Anderson. And again, in a few minutes, the camera for seat one and seat two is going to be squared away. Yeah, these 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 camera views are going to be jacked up for the next hand or two while I'm figuring this out. J Rock flopping middle pair backdoor diamonds. I'd be with just pocket fours with two over cards on the flop. <laughs> Jack of clubs brings in the front door clubs though. It's got to be concerning for both players. Cup says when the cameras come back, all the chips will be in front of Frankie. Uh, Jerox still going to barrel the turn here, with just a pair of eights takes down the pot. Okay, Poker Monkey, you have to pick one. You can't just cheer for everybody. I cheer for everybody. I want everybody to win, and at the same time, I want everybody to lose because I want to see the carnage. Yeah, but I want everybody to win at the. At, uh, and again, for those of you just tuning into this live stream. 
five, five, ten matches stack. Min buying one point five k. Speaking of buying, initial back buying max three k. Money maker up fifty two hundred. Bridge is up to fifty two fifty. Money maker's added on. Yeah, he's not up that. That's yeah. what his chip stack is. Moneymaker again yesterday making his poker house live stream debut. We might get, uh, we might have a treat and have him come in the booth. And the camera one is fixed. We get to see Habib and J Rock. There we go. So we're back squared here. Again, this game last Saturday played nuts. It was oh, like 90k. Carlos flopping top pair here. May want to bet here to for some protection. A bit pot here. I like it. Small pot. A lot of them, when I say small pot, small, small pot relative to the blinds and how many players are in the hand. So a lot of times on these flops. Chris Nicholson. Just being out of position being out of position you can you can bet bigger on these types of flops knowing that you flop top pair with a weak kicker Habib trying to drill his gutter on the turn king of spades I like the sizing from Carlos here 250 that's a good bet Habib is sticky though about 60 65 percent gonna make the call needs exactly a six four outs nine percent Queen of Clubs. This might slow Carlos down. He's got third pair on a three club board. So he's got to be. The problem is if he checks here, Abib's going to fire. Right. That is a That's nice right. bet. Good I like bet. that. Going to get and Carlos. It works. Yeah, with right. Carlos barreling three streets there. Let's Carlos, Carlos, ladies and gentlemen. Right. We Attorney. Are. Former judge here in the DFW, only been playing poker for one year. Is that accurate? Yeah, I double check. He's like, yeah, he's only been playing poker for a year. Wow. It's kind of thing. Just killing it. Yeah. Uh, loose and passive. Um, we saw some aggression there, so yeah. I think he might be trolling us yeah. on that one. Uh, best achievement, just winning on any live stream. I love it. I love it. And, and last uh, night he was watching the 510-25 live stream during his like son's Disney yeah, choir. Yeah. <laughs> in between, in between songs that his kid was not participating yeah, he in, so. paid, he had the full attention when his child was yeah. actually performing. I would have done that too. <laughs> I done Dude, that too. <laughs> I got in trouble for leaving the auditorium when my kid was done. They said it was rude. Who was like, said? Like my wife. She's like, no, we have to see you to the end. I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> why? I'm done. I don't, I don't care what fifth grade does. <laughs> Second grade's done. Who I'm out of here. I said, honestly, I'm making room for those guys to come sit down. Yeah. The Gator going to take that pot down there. Eight, oh. nine suited. When you think of it, if everybody leaves and fifth grade just has nobody except for like, you know, nine people watching. So I get her point. Got Mark Wee in the chat now. Again, for Ooh. those of you in the chat, next Poker House Dallas Chat Pro Meetup game. And it's really open to anybody. So and if you participate in any of these chats, Going to come up here March 12th, the Sunday, noon. So, one, two, five hundred max. Tomorrow, though, Eric, why don't you talk about that one? So I thought when you said meetup game, you were going to talk about the $10,000 guaranteed uh, tournament I'll tomorrow. I'll that one to you, sir. All right, perfect. Um, I'm going to check the action really quickly. J-Rock's got two fours in early position. Let me, let me, let's just go watch this uh, hand for a second. He just limps in to the straddle, or no, it's a double straddle. Double straddle. Looks like it's a double straddle. Okay. On. Yep. Bridge Mike straddled in the nine seat, and then Habib double straddled. King. Wow, it's a good flop for Bridge Mike. He's open ended with bottom pair. Carlos has middle Back pair. Clubs, yeah. Habib with the gutter. This is kind of you got to be concerned about this. Bridge Mike into a field of. Four, including himself, leads flop. So Bridge Mike, he, he needs an ace for a straight, a nine for a straight, a jack for trips, or ten for two pair. There's his jack. That's That gives Carlos a flush draw. Yeah, but that's also not a good card because it now brings a four-liner to right. 
Broadway. Or Niner, AC, Chop yeah. Queen of Clubs, great card That's for That's good Car for Carlos. Let's see if... It's not great, but he gives him the best hand. Yeah. He just checks back. I think you have to bet for some value here. Like 200, 225, 250. Yeah. I like the size in Carlos. Half pot. Good job. All right. Going to get bridge Mike to full here. Cool. All right. I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to pop up this uh, next-gen meetup game tomorrow. It is a our standard $130 tournament. Uh... 20k starting stack 20 minute levels we've got a 10k guarantee on this the next gen boys are going to be playing uh we had 257 entries last month with the last sunday of the month and uh 10k guarantee we had twenty five thousand dollar prize pool all three of the boys were in the commentary booth we live streamed the final table starts at two o'clock a lot of twos in this two o'clock start time 20k starting stack 20 minute levels this is going to be a great event don't miss it tomorrow two o'clock registration open for six levels through the break so that's 4 10 p.m Cup, make it happen. A mug advertising poster. We can do that. Give me the details. We'll have it for the next time. For the chat pros. Gator with two sixes limps in for the $25 straddle. OFC with Queen Jack suited makes it $125. It's going to fold back to Gator. Calls 100. Got 300 in the pot. Ace, king, nine. All around OFC's range. There he hits the jack, which is third pair. He's in some additional draws, though. Turns enough showdown value. Yeah, I think OFC's just in check call mode. You know, he's not super confident with his queen. Well, he's out. Of, yeah, he's out of position. So, 75, little blocker bet here. Sometimes these blocker bets after checking flop oh, and oh, turn. he's in position against Gator. Yeah, so Gator checking. Yeah. This is either going to be a this is either going to be a fold or a raise. Oh, can make the call here. Okay. I think that was a um, call for information. It was a small enough bet, and and he's going to go ahead and call 75. So in the future he can see what are you how are you playing this hand. I don't think Gator ever thought he was ahead, but he just wanted to see how does what what are you raising me with, right. and then checking the flop and the turn, and then that small bet. Uh, I don't think Gator ever thought he was ahead. He just wanted to see what was going on. Uh, we've got Mark Wee in the chat saying, "What's up, guys? Um, let's check this out. If you guys want to play Wednesday, we we're talking about that. 10 a.m. They get together." Uh, 1K max buy-in, 1-3 blinds, unlimited straddles. And the straddle, so on a 1-3, the straddle's 10, 20, 40, so that's... We oh, don't is go, it? Yeah, on that game it's 10. On that game it is? Yeah. Because he said they got up to 96. No, so... So it would have been 1-3, six, 6, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. Oh, my bad, Mark. Maybe it is. I thought we did 10 the other last week, so... They are also playing the 7-deuce game, which everybody knows. We don't do that on the floor, but we do do that in the private game. We call it a private game, but uh, that just means everybody that comes to that game it knows that we're going to play these fun games on the side. The stand-up game and the 7-deuce game, unlimited straddles. Uh, 1K max buy-in. You can get into that table for, I think, 300. 10 a.m. Wednesdays, great time. Wednesday is just a great day for poker. We've yeah. got Katie's game at 6 o'clock. Just crushing. OFC here. OFC 3 by Habib. So OFC limp. Got back some calls. Habib makes it 125 out of the third blind. So basically OFC limp the straddle. Limp the re-raise the straddle with ace-queen mm -hmm. offsuit. I don't know. If Mark's in the chat, he can answer that question. Habib flopping bottom pair, but OFC flopping top pair, top kicker. We got Benny pitching cards today. Habib's going to leave that turn here. They're up there, flop check by OFC. It's a good check. Did you just make the call after Habib leaves the turn? Two diamonds. Very change. passive. Yeah, it plays. It uh, changes absolutely nothing on this river card. B 
Are you going to continue the aggression here? And just kind of a weird run out, weird board. Oh, oh. Anticipate OFC folding this hand. Oh, it's going to come back with a raise. Wow. Going to make it 2200. Slightly under 4x. Habib's just going to have to lay it down there. Oh, let's look at OFC. Occupation, smoke shop owner. I don't He's, know how many he has. He said multiple. Multiple. Yeah. He's been playing for 15 years. Favorite game is No Limit Texas Hold'em. Game dependent, style of play. Best poker achievement, winning poker player for the last 15 years. That's Sean OFC. Here we are getting to the next hand. I believe it's like hand 11 or 12. And after hand 20, we're going to go ahead and pull up some stats, but. Yeah, this is hand 15. After yesterday's thing, my friend, he plays tournament only. He messaged me, he's like, you're so bad at poker. It's exactly race to one. I think it's kind of Talking about that. Moneymaker gonna make it on the button. 150 with Ace King. Offsuit. J Rock in the call on the third blind. Queen 10 offsuit. Gator here. Let's see if he's gonna make a move here. He's just gonna call. He's just gonna make the call. Oh, so he's gonna definitely defend his straddle. Alright, OC flopping top pair here. Let's see if he's gonna lead out. When it comes to him. Gotta just check. Money great, maker, you know, great this plot for Gator with yeah. two sevens. Jack of diamonds. I wonder if money maker is going to take a stab here. It's going to check. There he gets it now. Yeah. Like some of these players are going to go into check call mode. Let's see what sizing money makers can go here. I don't Small. think anybody calls. 250? J-Rock's got no part of this. OFC's got no part of this. Um, I don't think... Gators okay, he's going to go for a bigger sizing. Yeah. We go 400 to about 600, two-thirds pot. Yeah. Gator doesn't want information that badly. I, I think, yeah, Ga if Gator... If that was not an Acer King, obviously, I think he makes the call there, but... I think a smaller bet, like when OFC bet 75... Uh, just a reminder for those of you out there, first responders, police officers, firefighters, and veterans, we have a $10 daily membership. That is free. We take care of the people who take care of us. You can get that at a discount for $30 a month, but if you are a first responder, police officer, firefighter, or veteran, that is uh, free for you every day. Rich Mike on the button with the 8-9 suited. Makes it 100 from the $50 straddle. Habib comes along with a 4-6 off in the small blind. J-Rock in the big blind. Gator from the third blind in pocket deuces calls. We are six ways Heads up. The flop. We, are, we are heads up in Texas. No one has a three. I have to just look at the equities. Man, Bridge Mike's got the flush draw. Yeah. Habib's got a gut shot. J-Rock has top pair, and he is, like, way behind uh, OFC, who has a better kicker with top pair. He does have backdoor diamonds, though. But on a board like this, multi-way, OFC's going to try bet here to thin the field a bit. OFC accidentally betting out of turn. Rich oh. Mike can, can make the oh yeah, can make the call. I didn't know if he was gonna grab a bigger stack. Oh, if no. Habib would a gutter to a straight. Jr. gonna call. Can they be? Oh, OFC's bet has the purpose to oh. try to thin the field. Gonna evaluate a turn. 
two diamonds. Now J Rock's got a flush draw yeah. with the top pair. So two two flush draws out there on a paired board, all low cards. And based off action, it's very reasonable yeah. to think that one of these players has seven three ace. And Bridge, Bridge Mike, Mike gets, gets there it. on the river. OFC's got three pair. I think OFC's just gonna go to check call mode yeah. knowing that the the front door flush got there. It's very reasonable when you get yeah. This many people. Somebody's that, on that draw. Somebody's on on one of those types of draws. Yeah, for sure. So, gonna bet three fifty. Super super value heavy. Really good bet. Um, and OC knows like, oh, it's. I mean, he's. Did got, he just min raise? No, he just calls. No, oh, he, he made, did raise. <laughs> made it eight hundred. Yep. Wow. And he's gonna get snapped off here. Yep. Bridge Mike is not folding a flush yeah in this situation and i think that's uh, a spot you generally don't want to raise especially when a lot of draws get there on a paired board even though you have top two pair i, I, I mean like you, yeah you can definitely i mean it's kind of one of those like yeah you have to kind of call thing right on so Here's bridge mike well, occupation because, professional bridge player i mean i guess it makes sense that his nickname is bridge mike yeah. he's been playing poker for 25 years his favorite game is plo the plo any uh his best poker achievement any hand i win i like that that's a great answer. Great answer. One more thing we do for our uh, players. If you work at any card room in the area, even out of the area, we had somebody on Facebook said, I'm uh, I'm a dealer up at the uh, Venetian in Vegas. I'm coming up to see my brother. Do I get the discount? I verified. Danielle said, yes. You know, you bring your, your uh, pay stub or a, you know, your industry badge or whatever, uh, and you get in half price. Thirteen dollars an hour. You get it for six fifty. Our money maker going to raise it here after an open by Danny. Now, I talk about Ace Jack offsuit. It's not a very good hand, but if you're going to play it, it's kind of like a bet three bet or fold type hand, irrespective of position. So, very very takes down um, a little pot. Theory based three bet there was a raise. Was a, it was a raise and a three bet? Yeah. Danny raised and. Uh, Moneymaker 3-bet. And his name is Chris Moneymaker. So what's... I've talked about this in past streams that I used to think Ace-Jack offseat was a really good hand. It's actually garbage. And so, again, with those types of hands, if you're going to play them in position, out of position, you're either going to want to raise or 3-bet them. Right? So it's either, it's either a fold or, or a raise 3-bet with that specific hand holding. So taking that line, playing very... Optimal theory based three bet with ace jack offsuit. I'm looking at Ridge Mike, King Jack offsuit, gonna make it 100. That's another hand that looks really good. Which one? Uh, King Jack. It's, oh, yeah. It's the rookie hand because it looks so good. But it's not really ahead of anything. A lot of these players are gonna, looks like they're gonna be defending their third blind in the yeah, straddle. In the straddle. Frankie straddles and uh, we'll see defends here. with his King Six. J-Rock flopping middle set, though. Yeah, whoops, he's got a queen-high flush draw. He's going to actually lead the flop. 225. It's about 500. 45% pot. Habib's got a gutter. Yeah, but I think J-Rock's going to have to go in with a raise here. For sure. Oh, just going to make the call. Oh, that's sneaky. He is in position. I, you can see a turn and get an evaluate turn. Now I think now he's going to raise. Now he's just going to have to raise. Give him one shot to hit that club instead of two shots. See what size he's going to use here. There's 1,200 in the pot. He's going to make it like four. Perfect. A little small. I, I like You're going to want to charge draws. Well, it's, it's you're, you're so, a set is so good that now it's a boat. So that's great. Now he can he can make it small to yeah. Just now, to, obviously he's not he knows that. Oh, like obviously oh, he's not oh. going to call her. No, OFC is not going to go. So he pretty much bet. I would have made a slow, made it small to let OFC bluff at it. Yeah. But now it's too big. You can't, you can't. And OFC is just going. How can I get this? But I can't. I can't win with Queen High. I can't even call. Can't even make a. F he, he's asking for a count, but he doesn't really care. He's uh, he just doesn't want to get pushed around. Okay, you know what? This card might be wrong. 
if you watch the beginning of this one, there was it wasn't a missed deal, but Benny dealt two cards and then slid one over to Carlos. So that seven queen might not be seven queen. It might be hmm. something else. It might be seven eight. Okay, that makes a little. So he does not have queen seven in this hand. He has rewind and see what Carlos has because he ha he might have one of those cards. But it's, he doesn't have queen seven. He's not wasting our time with queen seven right now. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, and, and I saw that happen. I, he dealt it and then he, he went, whoops, sorry, and slid a card over. So one of those cards was actually Carlos's card. And Carlos's card might not even be red because it would have been red on OFCs. Right. So, based off what Eric's saying, that he's under the belief that OFC does not have the actual holding he has, it did not show. This is hand 18. It didn't show Carlos's hand, right? Correct. Because... <laughs> wow. And Unless I'm wrong, Carlos is saying he would have raised him if he had ace high. So maybe he was not wasting our time, but maybe he did have queen seven. Okay. He did, he he did have queen high flush draw. Okay. Oh, wow. I was like. Wow. So. <laughs> so J Rock's telling him he had Jack High. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, and he's like, that's so crazy if you really had Jack High, because I had Queen High and I almost called you. <laughs> okay, so he did have Queen Seven. There. He did have Queen Seven. I, I, but he was not wasting our time. He was gonna hero call with Queen Seven. I love it. Oh, Moneymaker has a Queen Nine. Gonna get immediately raised from Bridge Mike. Three X. And that's going to definitely slow some action down yeah. behind as it goes back to Moneymaker. Carlos, yeah, it's going to be this a hand that you're typically not going to want to call with, but he's like, he grabs it like he wants to call. He knows it's not <laughs> he's good, like, oh, he wait a second. it's two Broadway cars. <laughs> yeah. But based off that, based, based off Moneymaker, yeah, good, call, good fold there. He would have called Chris, but he's not calling Mike. Yeah. Oh, and Moneymaker going to show his hand. Bridge Mike going to lay it down. What do you think about this call, or this show from from Chris Moneymaker? Where uh, he basically showed a queen se nine. semi bluff, queen high, queen uh, nine. I mean, you can you, you can open. So the, hands like that, queen ten suited, queen nine suited, jack jack nine suited. The, the, those are hands you open fold, right? Andrea. So. In, in tournaments, like I'm, I'm trying to compare to really look so, at those, you know, but like queen nine, like suited, unless like I'm super, super, unless my stack depth is super short and I'm getting, a, I'm, I'm relating this to tournaments, I'll open that hand. And that's a decent enough hand because it can flop pretty flop well or you can get yeah, away from it. Yeah, you can it. flop some straight draws, you can flop some, you know, queen high boards, some flush draws. So it has enough equity to open, but after. You know, you open yeah. under the gun and bridge Mike and plus two raises you. That's just kind of like an auto fold, right? Chris Moneymaker in the straddle right now. And I hope you guys are enjoying these streams. We're doing a hard job here at Poker House Dallas, Poker House Live, to putting out some pretty neat lineups, fun lineups, action pack lineups. Good for the stream. It, again, Talked about this hand, ace jack off suit. It's a raise or fold hand. And he's gonna make it big and charge these limpers. OFC's calling with seven four. You know what? We laughed about him calling with four or five yesterday. I think it was the biggest pot of the night. Against Kyle Z, yeah. Or against Kyle who had pocket kings. Okay, so OFC's not gonna be. Jack. Well, now, I mean he's got a little gutter shape, but it's the it's the, it's it's, the, a, it's a bad end. Yeah. I like this check back by Moneymaker because from his raising range from the straddle, based off that, it's not a great board for him, right? This is a better board for OFC, right? Seven. 
Sean picking up some equity here. I think Money is going into check call mode. Yeah. Let's see if OFC is going to barrel again. He's going to yeah. double barrel turn in about 300 into 600 half pot. Yeah, if he had an 8, he just hit the straight. It's going to be a tough car for Moneymaker to continue on electing to do so. They did play all last night together. Yeah, so three of spades. If Moneymaker thinks he's good on the turn, he's good on the river. Yeah, right. it just went check, check, and he picks up the uh, $1,200 pot. Nice little pot there for Moneymaker. Have we pulled up Moneymaker yet? Not yet. Let's pull him up. Seat eight. Occupation. He's just a straight up gambler. Gamble, gamble. Out of Germany. They call him the German Moneymaker. His real name is Chris Moneymaker. He's been playing for the last 15 years. His favorite game is No Limit Texas Hold'em. His style of play is crushing souls. So he actually answered crushing. So I was like, can I add souls? He's like, yes. <laughs> I was like, perfect. Oh. Like I, I don't want to like you know crushing. Yeah, I don't want to. Um, His best poker yeah. achievement. He says he learned English at the poker table. I chatted with him pre-stream, and he has fabulous English. Yeah, but he was talking about so, like last night. We were talking about, and I'll probably at some point talk about it. But the smaller the differences between your PFR right. and your VPIP. Playing optimally. You're playing as optim make You can make the argument you're playing optimally. Right. And that was only like after a certain number of hands. He's like, you know, it's a small sample size. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. He wanted so, us to emphasize that that is a small sample so size Chris, on the we, screen. So last night when we pulled that up, small sample size. So when I pull it up again it, uh, today, it will be like, you know, we're on hand 21. Carlos hits top pair, top kicker. Hearts on board, some potential straight draws. Not too terribly wet outside of the um, flush draw. It's 350 in the 570. 6% pot, give or take. Habib here just going to call with King High. Yeah. He's got one over card. And exactly one out, the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs have both been folded. The computer says 7%. It's closer to 2%. Now, it can be very possible that Habib has a 4 here. Uh, yeah, if, if you're Carlos, Carlos he's got a 5, so he could easily have a 4. 500. 600? Half pot? Is it 500 or 600? Uh, it looks like 5. Can't tell if there's a chip under that. But five, I'm going to need 500. Full. Uh, so Carlos has found the way to beat Habib is just to barrel out aggressive him. Now I did have a little conversation with Carlos, and I believe was it last week? Yeah, last week Kim was. I think Kim was in the booth with me last week. Hayden played. Okay, I don't remember, but there was a when hand. You stream where, seven times a week, they blur. Yeah. Anyway, he had played a hand, and I made. I, I had mentioned to Kim. She was like, I'm, try I'm trying to figure out why he made that play the way it did. I was like, you know, he's only been playing for one year, so I'm closer to, like, not yep. playing as long. I was like, I mean, he's 100% of, of afraid of a flush draw, yep. which is why he got it all in on the flop return or whatever it was, right? So he texts me. He's like, yeah, you're 100%. I was 100% I was scared of that flush draw. And I, I was like, yeah. So I texted him. like, I totally get it because I used to be scared of monsters under the bed kind of thing. Exactly. So those were moves that I used to make. Ooh. Money maker here gonna make it. Call fifty. Bridge Mike probably gonna come back for a raise here. Gonna make it two twenty-five with Ace King suited in the third blind. Again, this is a double straddle pot. J Rock gonna defend the double straddle with Queen Three offsuit. Carlos gonna call pocket fives. Looking to set my money maker with Ace Eight, getting priced in. Gonna go four ways to this flop. Seven deuce ten board, not a good board for Mike. Much better board for these other players. Look at this, J Rock recognizing that this is a good board for him in the straddle. <laughs> Takes the aggression lead after Bridge Mike checks flop.
myself for doing a new video, which is thankful for getting his face on my thumbnail. No, nah, I'm a poker monkey. I totally get it. Yeah. Now I'm just like, well, if you get there, you get there. Like, I kind of value on myself by, like, overplaying games where I, you know, I'm afraid of this guy having this, like, <laughs> literally there's, like, six combos with this hand. Like, if he has it, he has it kind of thing. And so that's just kind of a word of advice. I definitely understand the monsters under the bed. And me, I haven't been running all that hot. Uh, definitely something incorrect here. That Derek definitely not all in. I think chip sacks are incorrect somewhere. So I'm not positive what happened there. Possibly she meant to put in the straddle or something like that, and she oh, changed. Oh yes. Okay, so he straddled for 25. She changed his chip stack to, to 25. 25. I've done that before. Yeah, so. Yeah, you have to manually type in when they straddle, so, um, and the straddle is right below. She'll fix that in just a second. Yeah. You know, this hand's going to be a little bit jacked up if he's going to try to bet and she's going to not know how to do it. V in the uh, action tracker, um, putting in all the action for the you viewers at home. So we're gonna get the chips chip stacks correct here. It'll be fixed after this hand. Frankie finally got a hand. Gets there on the river. I'm gonna pick up the pot here. Frankie getting on the board. And there she goes. She's checking yeah, his chip stack. She's checking out. She goes, I, I messed up. What do you have? Hey, while well, we're doing that, let's check out Habib's restaurant. Gosh. I know Kim and Hayden went there last night. With what family. time does it close? Because we get out of here. I think it's 11 something. 11? So we can go there tonight? I think so. We close here. We get done here at 9 o'clock, and I'm so hungry. I forgot to eat again because we were busy doing everything else. And uh, I will definitely go there tonight. If anybody wants to go to Zelda. Double check. Yeah, it is Saturday. This is midnight. Min All right, I'm going to sell. Let's double check. Uh, I think if we let Habib know, he'll tell the staff to like make sure you stay open. <laughs> yeah, we're so. there for sure. Uh, anybody wants to go play CCR at Zelda tonight? Be there at like 9:30. I'm. I don't think anybody wants to play. Pokemon, are you coming? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to play CCR with you because it's. Well, they all want to play with you. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, as long as you're there. Right. Okay. Is Ed coming? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be I'm there. In. I'm on the way. <laughs> Danielle came last night because you were coming. I don't blame her. She's like, who's going? And I was like, um, it's going to be me and Benny, Katie, and. Tammy. Tammy and Ed. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Can we CCR? Oh, see, flopping top and bottom pair. J Rock also with King. I'm gonna bet pot. J Rock gonna make the call here. In a world of trouble. Hopefully, no three on the turn, because it can get really dicey for three. Six of hearts. Now that brings in backdoor hearts, brings in some straight draws. Now J Rock picking up additional equity with a, with a heart. Yeah. A lot of hearts have been folded. It shows 11 outs at 23%. It's He's only got like four. Four of diamonds. Does bring in a hand like 5-7, but it's not going to be too many combos of 5-7 on this run out. No. Or if she's just, just going to take it down with two pair. Poker, if... Um, all right, Lego, let's go. Poker Monkey, Lego, everybody in the chat. We're hitting up Zelda tonight. When we get out of here at 9.30, it's about 20 minutes away. Google it, S-E-L-D-A. It is fabulous food. I think we had veal 
kebabs. I'm not positive what it was. It was unbelievably good, though. Bridge Mike with a 9-10 suited on the button into a unraised pot. He's going to make it 100. J-Rock's going to call with a king-9 suited. OFC in the straddle with two jacks. He's got a three bet to 600. Carlos snap folds his 10-6. Bridge Mike's like, well, geez, I don't like it that much. J-Rock, his stack size is updated now. He's up around 4,000. He's going to put in the, the extra 500. Got 1,365 in the pot. Uh, Ace on the flop might slow down OFC. J-Rock has the middle pair on that flop. Needs a king or a nine. OFC makes a call. With OFC checking that flop, J-Rock might think his nine is good. Just check, checks it back. OFC shows his jacks. Picks up a nice pot. All right, Benny is done. He's got his hour in the books. We got Big Brian stepping up and taking over. While we're switching around, let's talk about the. Uh, let's check out the, the uh, stream schedule for next week. Tomorrow, we've got the Next Gen $130 tournament, 10K guarantee. The boys are going to be in the final table broadcast. Monday, $1, $2, $500 max buy-in. This is our recreational players. This is our beginner player. This is our small game. Tuesday, we take the day off. Wednesday, Katie's game. Huge, huge tournament. Um, best one-day tournament that I know of in the area. $100 buy-in, 20K starting stack, 20-minute levels. We get to the final table about midnight. Uh, we had 262 entries last week. Yes, please, I do need coffee. Uh, Thursday, we're going to run a mixed game again. Friday, we're going to have our 5-10-25. Saturday, today, uh, deep stack. And then, uh, if it happens, we'll be running the uh, final table of the um, tournament. Oh, got it. They're running the flip. Now we know it's a king of clubs. Another flip. So let's talk about Kim and Hayden's class real quick. Boom. Low stakes rounding. Gonna be hosted here at Poker House Dallas by Miss Texas Kim and Hayden Fortini. You can email them at Kim at PokerVentures.com. Join their Facebook group, Low Stakes Arounders. For $1,200, you get 20 hours of play here at Poker House Dollars. Six, four of those that are part of the live stream. You're going to play a private or recorded live stream. That's going to be either 1-3, 1-2. Oh, it looks like 1-3. With live commentary from both Kim and Hayden while it's going on. Again, it's not going to be broadcasted, but it's going to be recorded. And only those individuals that pay for the class have access to that. That's going to be on a USB drive with the recorded footage and be able to keep that forever. And then the next day, for a couple hours or so, they're going to do a hand history review of the play from the day before. So it's going to be the weekend of March 18th, 18th and 19th. And 19th. So yeah. also get a nice little Poker House swag bag. So let's get back into this action. 
Hand 27 to start looking at these stats after this hand. And I feel like the hands are going pretty quick again today like they were yesterday, so. Uh, we're, we're right there. An hour, Benny Dell for an hour, he got 25 hands in. That's exactly average. We normally get 100 hands in yeah. a four hour stream. And look at this, a big race from a beam on the button. 250. Only gets one call from Jack with Ace King. 10 10 3 board. The Bree representing some big pairs. Or a pair. Let's see what he's going to do here after check two from J Rock. Bets. Three, $300, looks like. 400 It's a pot of 540 Jared gonna make the call. Doesn't believe Habib here. Again, Habib with a made hand though, so yeah. I think Jarok's gonna at least float one. Eight of diamonds. Now it gives him gives King Jarok a nice little flush draw. Also some counterfeit outs that he doesn't know yeah. about with a three or an eight. And Habib's gonna rip his stack, which is approximately six hundred. The snap call from J-Rock. Three. Oh, he counterfeits him. Oh, my. He does counterfeit him. Holy smoke. That's the ugliest way to lose. Yeah. Gets counterfeit on the river. Board double pairs. Oh. And the ace by J-Rock. J-Rock just fit. not a believer. Not a believer. Yeah, and even J-Rock, if that turns out a diamond, he's going to fold there. Picked up some additional equity. Yeah. Two overs, plus turning uh, the king high flush draw. Tori, do you play poker on... The, there's such thing as bankroll management. <laughs> so one of the things I preach to some of the people I help poker-wise, you should use Streamlabs bankroll management <laughs> as well. But maybe... Points bankroll management. Points of bank... Streamlabs... But I'll tell you what. Speaking we'll, of bankroll management, I'm going to give everybody a thousand points because you've been watching for an hour. And uh, there you go. Uh, Tori, slow down. Go easy. We might have to make it so it's, it takes longer than 10 minutes before you can gamble again. <laughs> There's a number for that, Tori. Just kidding. Thanks for joining the chat again tonight. Hand 28 here. Have even the cutoff with King Queen going to make it through? There is a straddle involved, so he makes it 300. Straddle or double straddle? I don't know what straddle. It was 45. Yeah. So the 10, 5, 5 plus 25 straddle yeah. is 45. So that's a big, that's a big raise. So yesterday, Habib was kind of showing a propensity to make some pretty big raises. Overbetting pot. You know, pot of 300 can make 1,000, 1,500. So. Habib's justifying that shove with pocket twos, and he says, I know he doesn't have it. Yep. J-Rock's defending his call, saying, well, there's three diamonds. I had a king of diamonds. Cock of the flock says, Gators, good luck charm is here. I don't know who is good luck. Are you the good luck charm? Um, I'm going to go with flock as a shortcut for your name. It beats what else I could say. I'm going to call you flock. J-Rock with a 710 suited. Makes it 125. Action gets over to Frank with a 910 in his third blind. Danny in the straddle folds. Wow. A lot of raise and take it's going on here. A little surprising though. Did you get us coffee? I ordered it. Coming? Okay. So let's, it's been a while since we looked at some stats. Let's take a look at cumulative winnings so far. Through about 30 hands. Biggest winner so far, J Rock, a Bridge Mike, and Danny. Danny, all over a thousand. Franco, a little booking a small little win here, about 850 up. Habib funding this game yeah. today. Down about 6K already. So, let's take a look at these chips at. Not quite action from last week, but still early. Just kidding. Have about 67, 7, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 40, 40K on the table. Devin, it's just free. It's a game they can play. They Somebody answer him. Yeah. <laughs> just get the gamble for free. 
thanks, Flock. I was silently laughing while he said that, and I was like, I was like, can I read his name out loud? <laughs> oh, Habib flopping trips. Oh, is he gonna make it? Too yeah, filthy. nobody else has anything, so it's going to be um, yeah hard for him to get aggressive with this hand. But you're just gonna make the call here. I love the I love Habib's deuce five. He's definitely Double. calling now. He's got the but now. Oh, let's see. Turns. Wheel draw. Quads. <laughs> just quads. <laughs> he, had, he had a straight flush yesterday. That's hilarious. He I says, I'll give you 25 if you don't make me show you. <laughs> when he, uh, when Habib tells you he will pay you to not make him show his cards, take the money because you are losing that hand. That's so funny. If uh, if he continues to do that when he's so nutted with quads and straight flushes and everything, he can start bluffing people yeah. so much by going, hey, I'll give you 25 to not look at my hand. And they're just going to take the 25 and muck their cards. All right, some action here. Okay, they're going to three bet ace queen offsuit after an open from J Rock with pocket fives. Look for this hand to go heads up. Jay Rock getting a reasonable price to set mine. A lot of times can be ahead pre-flop. Going to be a kind of coin flip going into the flop. I expect this to go check bet. Check bet call. Yep. There's a check. There's the bet. I kind of... Uh I kind of like two fives on this board, if I'm J-Rock. 400 is a big bet, though. Two thirds. With Gator, Gator three bet to 300, he could easily have an over pair of tank fives. Yeah, two of hearts. If J-Rock thinks he's good on the flop, he's good on the turn. Brings in a backdoor heart draw. Gator with ace of hearts, block, nut flush draws. Gonna get but pretty big here. How sticky is J Rock gonna get with two fives here? So like, like I said, if 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 he thinks fives are good on the flop, they're good, they're good on the turn. Now, if Gator's a rep, like, either Gator has a hand like he has right now, or a hand like maybe nine tens, queens. Or, or well, he three bet to three hundred pre-flop, so he could have tens. Yeah. He could have. But he could also he could, eights. Yeah, so this thing, you have, you, have, you have to figure out your combo, your, your value combos versus your bluff combos, right? So hands like ace-king, uh, ace-king, ace-queen, there's 16 combos of ace-king, 16 combos of ace-queen. He makes a call. Right, so it's 32 combos, bluff combos that are reasonably three three bet. Gator has hands. a very yeah. awkward $1,000 left, and there's 3,600 in the pot. That's actually does, not a bad card. For does he just rock. rip it? Well, he's gonna have to rip it here. Or does he give up, or does he rip it? Eight, the eight of spades is nothing really. Like I said, if, no. if J Rock thinks he's good on flop and turn, he's good yeah. on the river. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Gator just has to check behind because you know, he called you twice. Big bets. Now I think if Gator had like two or three K behind, right, 1K, right. He yeah, if he had forever. if he had three K, he could pile it in. But one K, I yeah. think, I think oh, Gator even two, just even makes two K because uh, the pot of thirty six hundred SPR is like yeah. just over point five, maybe like point six, point six five, or somewhere around there. SPR. So but SPR at that point going in the river is like less than point. Three, I think it was a thousand something in the 3600 give or take. Yeah. So when your SPR is just that low, like I don't hate the check back. Have we gone through all the ads? I 
Have we talked uh, about Danny Marks yet? We haven't yet? talked about Danny Marks in the, the seven seat, Yeah, I believe. He played last night. Back-to-back nights. Had to book the 5K win last night. Looking to go back-to-back -back wins today. Speaking of Danny, he's got two sixes in the small blind. Limps in for the 120. OFC makes it 125 in the hijack with ace 10 off. Oh, bridge Mike, bottom set. OFC, top pair. He's going to go in for the check raise here. Danny's going to fold. Danny does call. So now, oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. I'm just going to call here. I guess maybe looking for a safe turn. Four clubs. That's a great turn for Mike. Nothing. Yeah, so he's going to continue to barrel here. And I think Bridge Mike has to raise here to start building a pot. There it is. Good. I like it. Two and FX. Oh, OFC shows just, the ace. Just snap folds there. Nice bet. Nice bet. He oh, you see, he would call a set because Mike showed it. Running like God. Running like God. God mode. All right. All right, let's pop up. Danny Marks, uh, WSOP circuit event in Choctaw. Was that July? Last July. Last July, seven, eight months ago. They went, So they went Boom. into the, the day three with 13 players. He was 11th or 12th in chips. And he just won the ladder up to make the final table and ends up just running like God. Let's go. And it wins it. Snap calls a river. A snap calls, I think, a jam flop by the, the guy that he went heads up against was actually the defending champion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Snap calls. I, I don't remember what, what the handle was, but yeah. So. You uh, being chip runner today? This, well, you I, just have, oh, you yeah. went out there to get our coffee and he needs some chips. Yeah. So just. Uh, Good multitasking. Yeah, you know. Excellent. Do. Frankie, we haven't seen much of Frankie yet. He's got the have A we, and have, the Q. Have we gone over V-Pips yet? Um, Frankie's V-Pip is 6. 6%. We have not gone over that yet. No, I'm just talking about in general. We have not. Frankie is not going to win the V-Pip game today. No, he's in. It's hard to win the V-Pip game on this table. In 33 hands, he's seen six percent of them. That's what one hand, two hands. Yep. Two hands, and he raised once. Oh, J. Rock turns to the straight, and these two oh, got into a big straight. hand last week. I'll go over that hand from last week. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Thank you. Good I, check back by Frankie there. Four spades. I went back and deleted a bunch of uh, September and October footage to make room for this one. Good check back by Frankie on the turn. Uh, that's pot. Frankie's going to fold. Oh, he's got ace high. He's got not no pair. You know, he's just looking at that board going, I couldn't hit anything. A 10 for the nuts one time. Give me paid. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said, J-Rock, you're not invited. He calls with nut no pair. Yeah. What's he putting J Rock uh, on? I mean, there's some, there's some, some bluffs. Uh, yeah, there's some potential flush draws that missed, and you know he specifically had to hand like Queen Ten. Yes, here's Frankie next gen. His occupation, he is a uh, poker content creator. He's got like a billion uh, followers on TikTok. He's been playing poker for just three years. Favorite game, stud eight or better. Style of play, tight, aggressive. Best of poker achievement is million views on YouTube for the next gen poker. I'm gonna pull up this V pip since we're talking about it. Next after hand. this hand. Yeah, and last week Frankie and J Rock got into a big pot where uh, Frankie had Ace King, J Rock had fours. Frankie flopped top pair and barreled, barreled, and J Rock floated with the fours on bunch of high cards and drills a four on the river and they get it all in so frankie looking for a little bit of redemption here chris moneymaker flopping top pair j-rock with absolutely nothing 
Small bet here for Moneymaker 75 one We're going to snap fold by J Rock. Going to pick up a nice teeny tiny pot. Let's look at these V pips about 35 hands in. Habib, 57%. OFC, 56%. Now, these guys are going to be the battle of the V pip. Yeah. J Rock with 48%. Danny, 27. Bridge Mike, 27. Gator, 24. Carlos and Moneymaker, 219. Frankie, after that last hand, he's up to 9%. Up from 6% to 9%. He's played three hands. So, And if we check out the PFR, he's raised two of them. <laughs> Carlos raised one of them. All right. <laughs> However, uh, well, Carlos, like said, in, in his pro bio, loose passive. So he likes yeah. to lip plots. His, his V pip's going to be a h relatively high. High V pip, low PFR. Correct. And being table dependent, I, I sometimes use that strategy. Yep. If I'm against a very aggressive table, I just let them do the betting for me. Why do the pushing when the donkey does the pulling? Gator is uh, on the third blind. With ace king suited, he makes it 600. She hasn't typed it in yet. Oh, he does. He goes all in for 900. Never mind. I just saw the 600 that was out in front of him. All right. <laughs> have we told him about the Facebook group? I believe we have. We told him about the class. Well, and it says join us on Facebook. Join us on Facebook. Low stakes rounders. We got a bunch of people there talking uh, today. It's super fun. You know what I like about that? I'm in a lot of poker groups. This one is uh, it's new. Uh, it's just a just a week or two old, but two, near two of the members in the group, I think. Well, the the conversation seems on a different level from the other groups I'm in. Right. Like. Like it's it's not a bad beat group. It's more of a actual get some strategy. Like oh yeah, you yeah. should be three betting this hand because there's neutral equity and you know that's a hand that you can lead with and just a little more strategy. Like I would I would three bet bigger out of position because of players right. at this buy-in level. You know things of that nature. So kind of like a little bit like not like high strategy but next level strategy yeah. for those players that are playing these low. Their stakes one two one three so hundred dollar tournaments hundred dollar tournaments right now the majority i wouldn't say it's nearly it's geared towards cash now the social experiment that kim and hayden are doing they're going to be grinding low stakes as part of like multiple phases of projects over the next x amount of months so this is kind of phase one phase two is the class so kind of uh, implementing some stuff that they wanted to do now they got moved into the house so kudos to them again kim and hayden low stakes rounders on facebook if you're interested in joining that group i'm going to post a link in the um youtube chat youtube chat here um, what did you think about uh, after this uh, hand what's that um the the Post about the guy folding two queens on a four, five, seven heart flop. Did you miss that one? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I didn't. I'm trying to f figure out. Carlos turns a flush draw. Combo draw. J Rock with an open and straight draw. If we get the. Okay, the Jack of Clubs gives Carlos the nut flush. J Rock has no part of it. A uh, seven of clubs would have been really fun. Tiny in the chat saying, smash that like button. Yeah, I need to go and see how many actual likes we have. All right, Carlos here gets there on the river. He was never behind. Yeah. Ace high was never behind. Right. J-Rock had equity with the open, uh, ender, open ender. Open ender. Yeah. I'm trying to see. I shared it in the chat yesterday. Yeah. J Rock tells him to uh, bet the turn that he could have got paid, but he's never calling on a river bet.
And thank you for joining in this Saturday. About 50 viewers. I need you guys to like some stuff. Just like Tiny said. How many likes do we have? Uh, I'm still not there yet, but I'll go check real quick. Mm. Not enough. We have 20. 50 viewers, not bad. Again, it's 40%. Yeah. Look at me with that math. That li the, the, the live stream game is just getting super competitive, so we're trying to step it up here as well. So, And there's enough viewers out there and enough. Habib is way ahead with just King High. Yeah. On this board, and he just takes it down. Surprise, Danny. Didn't call there. Had a gutter to a straight, some backdoor clubs. Again, was in a world of trouble because mm -hmm. Habib had better clubs. Better clubs. Chris, you go, uh, you go to clubs? Like night clubs? Dance clubs? No? Like, This is being recorded, guys. The happiest hour? Is that a place? Yeah, you know, Carlos, this was sad. On Wednesday, he texts me. He's, he's like, are y'all working on Saturday? And I'm like, well, yeah, we should the final table. He's like, he said he had, like, club suite tickets in parking to the Dallas Stars hockey game. Tonight? Last on Wednesday. Oh. He's like, I was like, well, what time does the game start? Because the final yeah, table doesn't start until 11 o'clock. 11.30 minute. He's like, it's a late start. It's like 8.39. I was like, dang. If it started at like 7, I'm like, we're there. How long is it? How long? Well, you could leave early. I, just, I mean, how I far away is it? It's actually not that far. I didn't think about that. We don't have to stay to the end. It's not like a movie where you're going to miss <laughs> That's the true. plot. But at the same time, if you're going to get to stay for the whole experience. I agree with that. Turn up the table audio some. We sure can, but I thought you wanted to listen to us. J Rock gonna make it 100 here with just three deuce offsuit in the hijack. Oh, is he gonna call? Looks like we're behind action. She's uh, trying to catch up. I'm not sure what happened here. Oh, probably what happened is one of those cards is broken. Yeah. She has to manually type it in, and then you'll see her replace that entire deck. Yeah. There's 345 in the pot. Habib's going to... Okay. So, uh, she, she typed in the King of Hearts twice. That's not the board. It's okay. I don't think we're going to do a wheel tonight. What's wheel? The wheel we did last night to give away stuff. Oh, but no. there's some new viewers in the chat, so. Yeah, the wheel was really neat, but that was that was a more. lot of effort for just, and there she's swapping out that deck. That was a lot of effort for, for just what we were getting out of it. That, was that last Saturday we did that? That was last Saturday. It was a giveaway stream. Yeah, we gave away a lot of stuff. Shirts, hats. Sweaters, Dave, Carlos is <laughs> sweaters. Carlos sweaters. is sponsoring the uh, hoodie, giveaway, hoodie today. giveaway today for the largest. Whoever guesses the largest pot, whoever's correct, using the price is right formula, you cannot go over. And this is one of the things I like about our room here at Poker House. A lot of the players that play this stream, and a lot of players out in the floor. They know we're doing our best to put on a good show, so they want to support us. Like, you know, Habib has, you know, catered some food from us from his restaurant. So we shout him out. We had Adrian Williams give us some cupcakes for Kim's birthday. So shot, shot him out, put him together a little. I miss that one. Yeah. I was in Minnesota yeah. that weekend. I didn't get any cupcakes. No cupcakes or cake for you. And then Carlos wanted to get into the mix also as well, being today's sponsored giveaway. So here at Poker House, we like to uh promote our players 
and they're small businesses, so. We talked about ace jack off suit. I like this hand better as a three bet or a raise. Habib. Oh. A snap call from Bridge Mike. Okay, I'm gonna go three ways to the flop with the pot. About 750. Gator calls with ace seven. 10 bucks says it'll be rip set. Wanna bet it? Uh, $1,200? No, that's a rip. That's a rip. <laughs> He's ripping it. That's it? What? Did, what? Wasn't expecting that. How much did he bet? 375 in the oh. seven. So about half pot with a. That's a. I mean, I'm so very if value he, bet. If he gets called, he's going to leave. He lets himself. So SPR is going to be about. I don't know because I don't remember what it was. Chris Nicholson, new to the chat. Again, for those of you new to the chat, Saturday, 5 5 10. Match the stack here at Poker House Dallas, Poker House Live. Got Big Brian in the box, V running action tracker. Myself, Eddie the Asian sensation in the booth, along with Senor Eric the Almighty Chop Block Anderson. Hand 41, just under two hours into this stream. Oh, is he going to make it 75 in the hijack? Habib going to defend his straddle. Better board for Habib than it is for OFC. Habib's going to check turn here. Small bet from OFC to try to get a little bit of value out. Habib snap folds. Mitchell, what what shirt do you want? I will, one of us will walk out and get you your shirt. Min keeps forgetting. He won a shirt in December on the Facebook stream that I never picked up. What? Come on in. You have to come get it. He's here. He's here right now? He's on a level, seat four. <laughs> oh, I, I need to continue to read the entire sentence. Min is out there on table 11. Give him a hard time, Mitchell. Moneymaker has bottom pair. I think against Habib, he's going to go into check call mode. Yep. He's going to call one street at minimum. Two spades, not card that changes much other than bringing in some backdoor spades. Both players going to check turn. Ace of spades. Moneymaker with the best hand here. But I, so many I wonder if he's going to take a bluff at the bluff. A pair of fives there by Mr. Moneymaker. Take a the pair of fours, excuse me. It was a five. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you were right. It was a five. So he goes to Germany, gets training, and comes back every six months. What do you do for poker? I try to make him not, not let him back in the country. Problem. <laughs> Danny says he tried to get uh, Moneymaker blocked from entering the country. Yeah, the way he, the way his visa works, I believe, is like <laughs> comes and stays for three months, leaves, goes back to Germany for three months. I don't think he actually like leaves necessarily the U.S. I think he'll go like on like a mini vacation somewhere, like Mexico for a couple weeks and then right. whatever. <laughs> Carlos here with just eight, eights. Would like to see them open there. Now it gets a raise by Frankie in the hijack, clean nine of clubs. Alfonso Walton in the chat saying, what's up, guys? What's up, Alfonso? You know what the funniest thing ever is? We're all drunk, right? And we go, okay, let's do karaoke. 
at, at, at our poker parties. This guy sings a German war song, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Hab Carlos flopping top set here. Habib with top pair. Gator with a gutter. Backdoor spades. Yeah, this is going to be a bad one for Habib. He only has $1,300 left. And looks like Gator folds. <laughs> Frank, he's gonna have to fold here. He doesn't have any backdoor equity. Oh, oh, sorry, it's actions on Carlos. Yeah. I like the call here. Definitely. Let Habib bluff at it now. Habib's gonna rip it. Definitely. Rip it on the turn. There's 1,400 in the pot. He has 800 left. Okay, he's not gonna rip it. Gonna bet. Kind of value bet. But Carlos here. can go all in now. Yeah, I think now he's gonna put them all in. But even though Carlos has the best hand, Habib doesn't, you know, neither player has right. any full equity based off what they have, no. stack sizes. It's almost 2,000 a pop. Habib only has 400 left. I mean, Carlos could just check and let Habib fire the river. I mean, to make sure he gets the money. Yeah. But Habib's not going to full top pair here. Never. Yeah. Not with a stack size. But if you don't know that he has top pair. He does put in the race to basically put Habib all in. I think Habib has more than 420. Yeah, it looks like he has like seven. Don't bet the cards. Don't bet the cards. He folds it. Wow. Wow, surprising full What does Habib team. put Carlos on? Two pair. Straight. Straights get there on the turn. So do you, do you think he got it on the turn? I had seven, eight. Yeah, pocket points. Yes, or some kind. Yeah, he had you crushed on the wall. Yeah, seven, eight I have. No, I have two pair on the head. Wait, you crush him when you get it. Yeah, straight. So, um... Habib was telling them he had 780. He turned two pair and still folded. Eight. That is not true. We have been live since about 5 p.m. Hour and a half. Again, we're going to straddles on at these stakes for some of these guys. 5-5-10 five, five, stream, J-Rock, King-Queen, after a raise from Habib in the small blind with Jack-10 offsuit. Yeah, stack sizes are, don't think, correct. I think it was 5 central, tiny. 5 central. There you go. Oh, wow, he's going to come back with a raise. 3-bet, ace-8 offsuit. Trying to squeeze. <laughs> Trying to ISO. Gets his? All the chips in, and again, he has more than a hundred. Yeah, I, I, he's it looks like he has six something, seven. Yeah, I give some change. Yeah, you're, yeah, seven, 25. seven and change. JR in a tough spot here after Habib was the original razor. Gator three betting with ace eight. And here's the thing. I don't think whatever the, based off Gator's stack size, assuming his stack size is correct. The Beeb looking nice little double up here. He's ace or eight. Oh, it gets there on the river.
All right, let's get back into some action here. A lot of these guys having a good time on the stream. Thanks for tuning in here, Poker House Dallas. Poker House live this Friday or Saturday. So I, I don't even know what day it is. The dead man rides again. Yeah, let's go, Flock. <laughs> every, time mm -hmm. I see, every time I see your name, bro. Just, I'm like I'm 12 years old. In the, in the Flock. <laughs> I'm in the chat. I'm like 12 years old in the, in the chat. Devin coming on in chat. All right, Moneymaker going to make a 75 with Ace, Queen suited. Gonna go multi way to this flop. <laughs> Texas heads up five ways, four hundred dollars in the pot. Jack high board. Uh, oh, bridge Mike. Middle set. A lot of sets today. Yeah, a lot, lot, lot of, of sets set. today. But Dookie Rainbow board, Ace of Spades now, giving moneymaker top pair. J Rock and a push. He's gutter. got a gutter. Yeah. And a pair. Bottom pair and a gutter. Moneymaker's never folding here. He's going to raise. Moneymaker's going to raise here. Draw him board. I think Mike's going to have to. See, he's going to cause you to raise. It is a very wet board. Yeah. J Rock calls. Needs a deuce to get there. Deuce a three or a four. Yep. Uh, he thinks. King of clubs. Bridge Mike with a lock on this. That king of clubs doesn't change anything. Let's see if Moneymaker's going to make a bet here. I mean, yeah, he is after being after raising. Oh, he's going to check. What a super phenomenal check back after Bridge Mike calls his raise. What a great check back. Bridge and Mike make, makes it 425. J-Rock going to be forced to fold. Let's see if Moneymaker can find the fold here. He does I've seen, not like it. I'm telling you, I've seen Moneymaker on TCH streams make some of the, of the best folds I've ever seen in live cash poker. Top here with the queen kicker is so strong, though. But you're playing against Bridge Mike. What a fold. What a fold. Wow. What a top level fold from Chris Moneymaker. Wow. This is a fabulous fold. Basically, whatever hand Mike gets in, it's guaranteed. Let's throw with the pair, Chris. Let's go in. Easy fold. No. Easy fold. Bridge Mike in the hijack makes a call for $25. Habib makes it a 125 in the cutoff with Jack 9. J Rock with Ace King makes a call. Carlos with Pocket 8 calls. Frankie in the straddle lets it go. J Rock flops a Besto with top pair, top kicker. Habib with just a gut shot. He needs a queen for a straight. <coughs> Carlos calls with an under pair. Bridge Mike. And let it go. Habib needs a queen. And the 10 does not help him. J Rock is still best.
here. I put about half a pot, 500 into a uh, 1100 pot, and I think it's going to get through. He does pick up the pot. They're trying to guess what J-Rock had, asked him if he had a 10, he said never. One maker in early position makes it 75 with a 6-7 suited. We do have a straddle in effect today. Full draw to OFC in the small blind with King Jack. Makes the call, now it's Carlos in the big black with King King. Makes it three and a quarter, it looks like. And that's gonna clear the field. Oh, except for Moneymaker. He wants to call that six, seven suited. And OFC comes on with King Jack. Out of position. Eight, four, 10. Moneymaker's got a double gut. He could get a five or a nine for a straight. OFC has backdoor flush draws needing running clubs. And Carlos is the best of it with two kings. Bet 700 into the $1,000 pot. Chris Moneymaker calls. OFC folds and we are on the turn. Five of clubs. Gives Moneymaker the straight. The flush is out there. But I don't think Moneymaker is going to be afraid of that based on Carlos's action pre-flop. And so Carlos makes it 1100. Just a call from Chris. River's a deuce. OFC would have had the king high flush with his running clubs. Carlos might be able to get away from it now. Moneymaker hit a straight on the turn. There's four clubs out there. Actually, Moneymaker might get away from it now. He's got the straight. But with four clubs out there, it's really hard to call $2,000. Did he bet half pot? Um, That's what it looks like. It was, there was 46 out there, and he bet 2000 This is a tough spot that Moneymaker's in. Uh, four clubs. I'm not calling Carlos. I like the aggression. Oh, and get some money, make it fold a straight here. Show the bluff. Show the bluff. OFC folded the uh, king rag, king of clubs on the flop. He would have got run runner flush. It technically wasn't a bluff for the record. I mean, he had, I mean, he had kings, but obviously no club here. He said he had him on the turn. Wow. He even said, Money Maker, you got him. Oh, straight? Oh, I thought you had the. I put you on the. I put you on the flush. Poker players are the worst liars what? ever. Seven, seven, seven was a straight. There was no straight. Yeah, it was six on the river. No. No way. He had an 8 10. What was the form? He had a straight. 8 10 some right. On the turn. 5 on the turn. 
one straight. You had, you had six, seven, right? Yeah. Six, Again, for those of you, German Moneymaker is a, is a paid sponsored pro for Poker Bankroll Tracker. You know, a lot of players in the room that are involved in this chat use that specific app to track their wins and losses on the cash strike and you can also do it on the tournament side as well. The heads up here. Habib out flops him. Yeah. Such a good board for Habib. And Yater knows that. Okay, so brings in a three liner, some straight draws for Habib. Gator flopping top pair. Turn. Turn top pair. Gary's definitely not going to let it go. See if we can get another club run out. Ace of Spades. Kind of a brick card. Tiny saying that's the one he uses. Yeah, Moneymaker such a nice guy. I reached out to him. I knew he was coming back into town last week. Oh, I knew he was coming in this week. Found out last week that he was coming in this upcoming week. Reached out to him. He said, "Yeah, put me on a stream." I said, "Okay." When he's in town, arguably, arguably one of the best players in DFW when he's when he's here. So. Take that up real quick. Yeah, take a look at this guy. Gambler for a living. 15 years. Loves the game we're playing today. Style of play. Not tight aggressive, not loose aggressive, not loose passive. Crushing souls. Game plus poker achievement. The ability to learn English at a poker table. So, Chris German moneymaker in the eight seat there. This is going to be three to flop in a straddle, single straddle pot. Queen, queen, five. Carl's flopping trips. Lock on this board. Definitely should check here. Good and check. Giving these players a chance to catch up. All right, now he really has a lock on the board. Habib may think he's good here on a double pair board with ace high. Yeah, two pair with the ace kicker. Nine. Okay, so Habib may bet here with ace high. And then Carlos is going to raise. Okay, he's gonna check. Carlos needs to put something in the pot. You can bet. It's a pretty big over bet. <laughs> I mean, it might work though. No, it's I think not if he bets to. like 150, 200, or bets pot. There was only 100 in the yeah. pot. So let's take a look at. Uh, we've. Who have we not highlighted yet? Highlighted. I think we've got everybody. So we got Carlos. I don't think we're gonna bridge Mike. We did. We did? Yep, because we talked about how he's a uh, bridge player. Let's talk about him. Professional bridge player. I don't know if we've done this one. Uh, did we talk about Gator yet? I don't think we have. I think we Let's should. Let's talk about Gator. Gator, Paul Tassone in the three seat. Poker player. Been playing poker for 18 years now. No limit to hold him. He, uh, he crushed the game last week. I think it was about 15K last week on this specific stakes. This, yeah, this day, like seven days ago. Yeah. Best poker achievement's pretty cool. Being able to provide for the family by playing poker, so that's no easy feat. About halfway through this stream, hand 50. Ines in the chat saying, let's go moneymaker. A B and a raise under the gun. The straddle with the king four hearts. Getting up to the mix. Getting aggressive. No significant big pots. Now, again, for those of you joining the chat, give away some stuff here. Let us know what you think the biggest pot of the stream is. We'll give something away. Sponsored by Carlos Cortez. Sponsored by Carlos Cortez. And then maybe at the three-hour mark, 
or so. We'll do what everybody thinks X Pot's going to be. That's always a fun game. That's a fun game. And that's one that like everybody can get involved because like they can be like yep. seat seven's going to win because like ten people are going to pick seat seven right. and I have to pick between those ten you know participants. So Frankie and Danny both best. It's going to be a raise. Going to be a three bet. <laughs> raise three bet as anticipated. with sixes here getting a reasonable price to set in mind i wonder if frankie's gonna come in for the four bet if he's just gonna call here he's definitely not gonna let his hand go doesn't want to take this hand multi-way very but, hard to call uh to make a four bet with carlos calling no i think it's i think he's i think he's you know really contemplating it and i think he's I, while he's taking so long, he's trying to figure out his four bet size so i think he's gonna go 1400 yeah. Wow. 1200. Good job, Frankie. It's a little bit of a small three bet Any size. Quarter. So it's a pretty small four bet size. I think. More. Okay, based on the pot. So that's why he was taking so long because he's got to think about who's going to potentially call. going to set. Let's say Danny calls, right? Let's say Danny calls. I think they'll be at 2200 and it's going to set up an SPR one to one on the flop. So with that being said, I think what Frankie took took so long is trying to figure out a sizing to where he can kind of potentially get heads up against Danny and try to get it all in on the flop. Leaving the SPR, like I said, I, I don't think J Rock and Carlos can now call a four bet from Frankie. I mean, Frankie representing the hand like aces kings. Queens. I didn't. I, th I thought he was going to fold. Yeah. I think it's going to get to Carlos and he's going to call. It's only no. It's, it's going to go full fold. A four bet from Frankie here is really, really strong. Again, J Rock and Frankie got into that big hand last week with J Rock floating fours on the flop and turning, drilling a set on the river to felt fold. Fold. It's six hundred into a two thousand dollar pot. Frankie's V pip was nine percent. I understand. Four bet. What's his PFR? I bet you it's no more than five percent. It's uh, it's six. Okay, so I was wrong. <laughs> one per I was one percent off. A V pip is ten, and his PFR is six. I think if Carlos has a hand like tens or jacks here, he's just gonna be like, I'm gonna get it all in. But sixes is just against a four bet from Frankie. He's coin flipping against hands. Oh, Hands Close just down. like this. Ace king, ace queen is coin flipping at best. I don't know, Lego, what the biggest pot has been so far. There's, there hasn't been any train wrecks. Oh, I knew he was going to call. I think that this overcars on this flop. This is going to be a tough board for Carlos to get away from here. SPR is about 0.9. We can see Frankie's got two outs. That's like 2%. He could. 4%. Yep, he's going to rip it. Yeah. Good bluff. And this is not a bad flop for Carlos's actual hand. This puts Frankie on having. Let's to turn the mic up. He's getting a count. Yeah, he says, never mind. That's too much. Good job, Frankie. Good job, Frankie. Played the hand well. Pocket Kings, they're, they're guessing. Oh, Danny Grimaces. I had the same hand. Let's look at Frankie again. Frankie, seat six. One of the founding players of next gen poker on youtube poker player and content creator only been playing poker for three years just started around the pandemic favorite game stud he made he actually texted me and said it's not stud my favorite game is stud or eight or better so i changed it stud eight or better best poker achievement 
over 1 million plus views between all their poker vlogs on YouTube. Next Gen Poker, check them out. I don't think it's going to get that big, Alfonso. 21 grand is large. Now Frankie has pocket kings. All right, there we go. That, uh, oh, <laughs> Golden Amadi's going to 3-bet him, 375, 400. <laughs> I think you give me a fold. Huh? I never thought you'd give me a fold. If uh, he's not by me, it's... Yeah. I mean, I was feeling a lot of pressure on you guys because... Yeah, for sure. Garrett, now, after seeing that hand with ace-queen, gonna fold. No, no. Frankie did. not folding here. Suited broad, big suit of Broadway cards. <laughs> King would be really bad on this flop. So for some reason, I think an ace is going to hit. A queen will be very bad. Okay. Queen high flop would be very bad. Let's go check, bet, fold. I think you can bet small here. 745 in the pot. 250. Third pot. 250, 300. 400. Okay. Deny some equity. OFC is a little stickier. Better. <laughs> oh, yikes! Says call, see what happens. <laughs> Any heart? <laughs> yeah. Let's it go. As anticipated, check bet fold here. Now that ace queen hand, some got players make chirping. Yeah, got them chirping, like you said. Now I like the four bet pre flop to try to get Danny off a hand. Very similar as maybe ace king, smaller pocket pairs, and like king queen suited. Pure aggression on that hand prior to the pocket kings. All right, and Frankie's holding this one. Seven deuce off suit. <laughs> we are just two hours into the stream. Let's go. Halfway there. We are getting a lot of hands out. We're hand yep. 53. Benny's tapping back in. What do you want to see while we're doing this? Let's take a look at... We talked about that a bit. We talked about everything. We talked about everything. We're getting everything. How about we pull some stats? Stats. Let's go. Cumulative. Cumulative winnings. Habib financing this game with 7,600 down. J-Rock up at the top with 3,400 up. Carlos up 3,000. Bridge Mike up 2,700. Frankie up about 2,200. Danny 735. The rest of the players are down. Gator 860. Moneymaker 1,600. And OFC almost $2,000 in the red. Moneymaker had to book the, book the W last night. OFC as well. So again, still a lot of poker left this Saturday. We're only halfway there. Halfway. That's what happens. V Pippen voluntarily putting money in pre flop. Habib 60%. He's going to win the sweater. dropped a little bit. He's down to 52. Uh, that'll change. Frankie climbing the ranks with uh, two back to back hands that he played. 13%. Moneymaker and Danny at 20. Bridge Mike and Gator at 24. Carlos 30. J Rock 47. Let's check out their stack sizes. A couple of these guys have uh, topped off. Carlos at 8K. Bridge Mike, 7,700. Danny, 7,300. J-Rock, 7K. Gator, almost 7K. Moneymaker, just over 5K. Frankie, just over 5K. OFC, 3,500. And Habib, 2,300. They're going to do a little PLO flip.
flush on the board. Frankie's got 92% chance to win with this ace high flush. Well, the board does not pair, which it does. It does. Carlos gets a boat. The boat here. Frankie flops the nut flush, and Carlos gets a boat. Top two turns into. Carlos Queens getting some of that money back. Nine hundred dollar pot flip. We see. While they're counting that money, let's look at Wednesday. We've got Mark's game, 10 a.m., 1K max buy, and you can get into it for 300. They have one three blinds, unlimited straddles. They do play the stand-up game, and the seven deuce game is in effect. So if you want to come over Wednesday, it's considered a private game because we do a bunch of carnival stuff that uh, we don't do on the floor, but it is open to the public, so come on in. 300 to 1,000 buy-in, it's a good time. Then stick around for Katie's game that night at six o'clock. All right, J-Rock here with tens in the small blind. It gets folded around to him. Gonna make it buck 25, kind of look like a squeeze spot. OFC here, three, four suited. Gonna make the call in the third blind. Carlos gonna defend the straddle. Gonna have a four. Oh, look at this, Carlos flopping top pair. J-Rock middle pair. OFC with bottom pair, backdoor flush draw. Did you say J-Rock has middle pair? Cause he's got middle set. Middle set. There we go. All right, check, check here. Carlos is gonna barrel 250. And this is a very uncoordinated board. Just gonna see J-Rock just call here, let him keep barreling. <laughs> see what the turn's gonna bring. Eight of, oh, oh no, no, that's bad for Carlos. Really bad for Carlos. Oh, he's got two pair. The good thing is both of these players are pretty deep. <laughs> that's a bad thing if you're Carlos. <laughs> Uh, 800 in the pot. Max Payne this hand. Oh my goodness. It's a pretty big bet there. Two thirds, 600 about 900. J Rock here is probably going to come back for the check raise. He needs to start building the spot here. Eight of spades brings in some potential straight draws. Back door. Let's say he spade makes draw. It, uh, 1500 to go. Right? Does does Carlos three bet? No, he's in position. Uh, this is a handle like Carlos and I kind of talked about. Turns a straight draw. Yep. It's good sizing. Is that twenty one hundred? Uh, wow. That's, I like that. It's I like this spot. Bigger than I, like I anticipated. Fifteen hundred to call. Yeah, this is going to be a big one. And Carlos, Carlos just can't fold here. He can't fold two pair here. No. I mean, J Rock's really op representing a hand that he has. Set of tens, set of threes. I mean, ace ten is out there, but Carlos is blocking ace ten. Oh, this this is gonna be a nasty hand. And they're too. He's too deep to rip. Now, if I think that's a if that's a non spade turn. You can just call her. We, we talked about, like I said, I talked. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks like he's grabbing. No, he's counting. Cal. He has 35 20 left. So we show him having 4,300 left. Not positive what. Now, with him being a 35-20, I wouldn't be surprised if Carlos... Gosh. Such a sucky spot for Carlos to be in. He's been playing so well, running so well. This hand can wipe out all his profit for the day. He's been playing so good. Oh, this money's all going to get... I, I don't see how this money doesn't get in. He's in position. You want to call from Carlos? Gosh, right this is a this, this is a tough such a tough spot. 
because literally J Rock is rep is like the ace. I mean, he's not gonna have ten three. He's not gonna have could have ten eight suited. Could have ace ten. Ooh, he put the chips back. I'm oh my God! Out. He just called pocket tens. He literally just called his hand out. He call. He rips. Says all in. Oh no. Pocket tens. That's why when he said pocket tens, I look like, how does he know? Because I put you in pocket tens. Yeah. King of diamonds. Super cooler spot here. J Rock going to get a nice little double up. I don't think the stack sizes are right, though. So it's going to make. If he only had three, he's going to. It's going to show a stack of like 1,600 more than he actually has. Right. Tough, tough. I don't fault Carlos for that move. That's just a cooler spot there with two pair gets a set. Like I said, he's J Rock's a really good, you know. Even let's say J Rock turned like a combo draw, like I don't know, Jack Nine of. I don't remember what the flop was. Other Ace Ten Eight. Ace Ten Eight. Am I right? No, Ace Ace Three. Ace three, ten, with the eight on the turn. Um, that pot size, give me one second. We're double checking, doing some accurate, getting some chip count updates. Tough, 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 tough spot. Says the pot was about 13,750. I don't think that's accurate, Alfonso. I think it was about 12. 12 five because of inaccurate chimp counts. So, not 100% sure. Again, we're going six ways to this flop. <laughs> Monotone board. Habib with the only diamond. Has the most equity in this hand, even though OC flop top pair. J Rock middle pair. Jack of Hearts. Bring it, does bring in some potential straight draws. Player with a 10. Picks up, okay. Check, check. You guys and girls are enjoying this Saturday 5 5 10 mash the stack here at Poker House Dallas. Poker House Live. Denny in the box. V running action tracker. Eddie, the Asian sensation in the booth. Along with Senor Eric, the almighty chalk block Anderson. As we get into hand 57, just over halfway through the stream. Moneymaker here with pocket nine is going to make it 100. Looks like it's a sh single straddle pot, I think. Oh, look at this. Oh, see with Jackson, the small blind. Yeah, it's gonna come in with a squeeze. After Moneymaker makes it 100, gets a bunch of colors from behind. Four goes all. 
Did he rip? And you guess he ripped? I thought he only made like 900. Oh, what happened with the action there? Oh, so Gander made it 700 with Ace King. I didn't see that hand pop up, so I guess. And then uh, OFC 4-bet ripped it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that's totally my fault, guys. I announced correct. Moneymaker was the original Razor. Got a bunch of calls behind. Gander made it 700. I heard the 700. I thought that was OFC. So OFC makes it seven. Uh, Gander makes it 700 on the button with the Ace King offsuit. Then Gator, and then OFC, four bet rips Jax out of the small blind to isolate OFC. And a classic coin flip scenario. OFC slightly ahead. This reminds me of a tournament. I agree, Lego. For those of you in the chat, go ahead and like the stream. Off stack depth there, you know, that's kind of a call, but in cash, a little different there. Tough full there, but good full by Gator there. I mean, I say good full, that's a, that's a, I don't think you're wrong one way or the other. That's what I want you to That's what you want me to all right, let's take a look at this. J Rock again, a big winner this week, up about ten grand. Again, I don't know if that's right or not. If it, I, I think it's about a K off. Bridge Mike up, Cranky up, Manny up. Carlos was a winner before that two pair versus set hand. Super, super tough spot. Few hands ago again, as we enter action on a hand of 58. Let's make a wager and uh, see on the screen. Right? What hand do you think that I had? That's a good guess. That, that sounds more accurate. Maybe a safe. Right, heads up to this flop. Danny with the ace jack. Talked about this hand a bunch. Ace jack <laughs> offsuit. Seen this hand a number of times. Tradition should be using a fold or bet slash bet race slash three bet strategy with this hand. Danny with the best hand. Going to go check, check on the flop. And turn. Danny with the best hand here. Seems to try to eke out a little bit of value. 150, 200. Oh, I didn't see what he bet. Bet. Missed a big hand, Eric. There was a raise and a three bet. I think Moneymaker opened it on earlier position with nines. Gets to 100 on a straddle pot. A bunch of people call Gator three bets to 700 on the button with Ace King offsuit. Yeah. And then if 
OCS jacks in the small blunt and just rips like 3,800. Wow. And the gator just tanks, 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 tanks. And uh, ends up full in. Carl's going to make it 225 with the ace queen offsuit. Wouldn't it be surprised if Frankie comes in with a three bet here? It's going to be sh blocking the strongest portion of a lot of his remaining opponents, op opponents in this hand. Make it 800, 750. Exit A here, good three bet size, I like it. Carlos not going anywhere, in position. Here's what sucks, I'm pretty accurate with these three bet raise sizes and four bet sizes, but I'm still getting crushed. <laughs> Frankie hits top pair, good kicker. Carlos has a nut flush draw. This could mediocre, get mediocre wet board, some straight draws. Definitely the flush draw with Carlos having the flush draw. Now the king is obviously better for Frank. He has a lot of the ace kings, king queens, which he has. When Carlos opens, oh, he checks. I don't love that. Is that for pot control? Yes, pot control for out of position. Okay. Ace. That's a good. Ah, uh, it's good. Good card for Carlos. Yeah. Let's see if Frankie's Fra gonna bet Frankie here. Frankie has zero outs. If he's gonna bet here, okay, check. I think Carl's gonna start building this pot to have the turning top pair. Like I said, flopped. 1,000, slight value the bet there. Okay. Yeah, have, have her fix it. Yep, thank you. I went out there and had uh, had him go back and uh, update the chip stacks. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought, I thought Frankie hit a straight. No, Frankie was drawing dead. Yeah. He had two outs and they were both folded. So the computer said he had 5%, but we knew it was zero. I think Cross is going to check back here. Yeah. yeah. All he has now is top pair. Yeah. Uh, recovering a little bit of the loss that he had against J Rock on that. Two pair versus set hand. Carlos has played actually. I mean, there's nothing he can do in that spot. I mean, he can call or fold. I'm the, I don't hate either move against J Rock there. I mean, everybody in the chat's like he's only representing tens or set there. Uh, that but, was such a rough spot. But uh, but with that being said, like when you're actually live at the table having to make the decision, it's like he he even did put him on tens. But then talked himself into a call. Yeah, I, and like I said, if he just had like ace queen there, ace king there, I think he's folding. But like when you turn two pair, that's yeah. that's just tough to get away from that spot. <laughs> Talking about that pocket fours versus ace king last week, where oh. J Rock got Frankie floated, flop, turn, and got there on the river. River's a set of fours in everybody's face. I think Frankie just got up and left. He did. <laughs> that that, that was one I where... I don't blame him. I've done that before. Well, we're in the booth, and we st we thought the hand was done. We started talking to the... You know, we were we answering the, chat. the chatters and stuff like that. I was like, like yeah, J-Rock's going to fold. Oh, he calls flop. Okay, turn. He's folding the turn. We're still talking. Oh, he gets there on the river, so... All right. Multi-way. Not surprising. There's not too many hands that we've had tonight that have gone heads up four five eight board bridge might flop the top pair gator flush draw back door straight draw as well no one with spades although who has the only spade he also has top pair bridge mike with the better top pair a b gonna bet j rock gonna call here can make the argument for raising Oh, that's a big, that's such a big sizing. So he bet pot. Gator's going to call. Yeah. You said J-Rock. Yeah. I don't know that. That's okay. I was confused for a second. Yeah. I had to listen. Ooh, he does get Bridge Mike to fold. Yep. I think that's, I can only had a jack, you know. All right. Now this interesting turn card. Habib just gets it all in. No. And gets a fold. Yeah, if that turn is like a nine, obviously that gives Habib two pair, but or like a seven that gives, even if it's non hard, that gives him some additional equity. But with that specific turn card, you just got to kind of shut it down and let it go. You're not getting a good price. Again, with Habib only having about 700, 750 left in, the, in that hand.
right, Dan on the button, Queen Nine off suit. Queen Nine suited, gonna make it 100. J Rock gonna defend the straddle, Nine Five suited. Better board for Danny because he flops the straight. <laughs> so, now believe it or not, J Rock. So J Rock open ended with the backdoor diamond. So if a seven comes out, that's gonna be bad. That's for him. pot here. Because this is actually not a horrible board for J Rock range. No, yeah, right. he's open. Well, I'm talking for his the big oh. on the straddle range. Okay. Uh, oh, J Rock got the straight. Danny's got a bigger straight. I, uh, I don't see J-Rock. They are both so deep. This can get big. 500 is... Because you have to think, the only hand that's beating you right now, actual hand, is Queen-9. And you have a 9 in your hand, so at least... You have 12, blockers. You have blockers, so you, there's 12 combos of Queen-9, right? And Danny made it 100 pre-flop. And Danny's probably not going to have unsuited Queen-9, so there's only three combos of suited Queen-9 hands. So Queen-9 of clubs, Queen-9 Queen of hearts, Queen-9 of spades. Queen-King beats you now, too, if, you're, if he was open-ended. Yeah, but I just... You have to value bet here. With Danny having the Queen, it reduces combos of King-Queen that J-Rock could be floating with. I think Danny's just trying to figure what size he's going to make it here. Is he going to go kind of a neutral size 16, bet? No, it's big. It's, uh, what is that, 12? 1,300, about 13, 80%. 1,325. He could be par targeting hands, like two pair of hands. I call. Yeah. Like I said, he, he could be targeting a hand exactly like J-Rock has some two pair combos because obviously flood so i'm gonna give you my methodology you're gonna make a call he does call so i i like danny size there here's why i like danny size if j-rock misses his draws he's not gonna call right so if he's not gonna call he might as well bet big to see if he has something yeah. like a hand he could have a hand like J jack eight ten eight jack ten right Maybe tar targeting some two pair combos. If if J Rock had like a bigger pocket pair, let's say like nines through kings, or he's you know. Carlos just told Danny those are my chips, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that he gave theoretically J Rock three betting there, out of position, to button open, but tough tough spot. Get some tough runouts here for these players. Tough flops. Oh, OFC's got aces. He's going to limp. Early position. He's going to limp. <laughs> I just knew it. Okay. He's going to limp back right here. Here he comes. 75. Let's go 300. 350. You can go pretty big. You're out of position to $2. Okay. Bit of a small size. Okay, so it's not, it's not a horrible sizing. I wonder if Frankie thinks that OFC is bluffing here. All three options are on the table for Frankie here. Just call. Like I said, all options are on the table there because he's trying to ISO yep. J Rock or full jump from OSC. Yep. I am not entirely. I don't. I don't hate this for the record. I want OSC to call. Not five bit. This is tough with aces. Like five betting is just so strong. Right. Okay. So he's gonna call here. I like it. I said, five five bet just like. The more you bet, like raise, three bet, four bet, five bet really narrows your range on each quote unquote incremental bet. So 
When you 5-bet, you're pretty much screaming like aces are kings. Yeah, I have aces. Great board for OOC. He's going to go check. See what Frankie does. If he's going to bet 500? small. Three hundred, really small. I don't hate it. Yes, I still have aces. Oh, you can get a nine now. He's got three outs. And OOC knows this is not a good board for Frankie because he don't he does not have these cards. In his four bet range. Right. Check, check, which I anticipated. Brings in the back door flush draw. OC with the ace of spades. Now, he, what he can do here. Obviously, Frankie would just king hot. Yeah, he's just going to rip it. Hoping Frankie had queens or something. Yeah. Uh, if, if, Frank, if Frankie has queens, he's betting turn. Speaking of. You can see me right there talking to our tournament director, Mike Tanner. The Insomniac, scheduled for 10 o'clock, was not on Poker Atlas, so I had to add it for oh. him. Um, $100 buy-in, 20K starting stack, I think, and 15-minute level. Starts okay. at 10 p.m. Fun little tournament. Fun little tournament for those of you night owls here. No guarantee on that tournament. I guarantee you're going to have fun. Yeah. This is there's The room is busy. It's slammed out there. So there's 11 tables going right now, including the live stream table. Got players on the live stream wait list. 11 tables going out here on the floor. Benny's back in the box now. Yep. Yeah, have you, uh, OFC said I put you on a better hand than mm -hmm. what better. you had. That's why I played it like that. I thought you could call. Rocking that Poker House hoodie he earned last night with his 61% VPIP. <laughs> yeah. So they played a little fun game last night for all those players that played that 5, 10, 25 live stream. Straddle was on very often. Well, whoever had the highest VPIP gets a Poker House sweater. And currently, as we speak right now, it looks like Habib's in the lead. Are you saying sweater on purpose to yes. troll me? Yeah. All right. Just like monotone. <laughs> <laughs> Money maker here. Going to make a move. 300. Queens is straight. Uh, it's going to be hard for Habib to call with third pair. Yeah. And Carlos is not calling with Money maker fourth then. pair. Kind of inching his way back here. Mm -hmm. He's down just about 1,500. Who, did, who bluffed him earlier? Carlos. Carlos. He, Carlos had kings. And Moneymaker had a straight on the four clubs. He, he turned a straight. Yeah. And a four clubs on the river or whatever it was. Yeah, the, four fourth, the, the fourth club hits the river. Yep. And if OFC would have called the flop, he would have had the flush runner runner. Nice little turnout for our tournament this evening as well. $300 buy-in, $8,500 guaranteed deep stack. 47 players. Oh, that's good. Hitting the prize pool of about 12K. So, hitting the guarantee again. Good tournament structure here. How many Pokemon players Dallas. left? Yeah, 30K starting oh, stack, 30-minute levels. Let's see. And we add a couple of levels to that tournament to Saturday. Uh-oh, tens against queens. And Habib, this money going in. And yeah, he's only got 2K, so I predict J-Rock is going to lose 2K in this hand. Surprised he doesn't come back for the raise. Trying to ISO. Okay, heads up. 17 players left, so I don't okay. know if that final table is going to get streamed or not. I don't think it will. Okay, It's going to be there before. Check, bet, call. It might just be check, bet, all in raise. No. Why not? He's not only yet. got 1,500 left. He wants to evaluate a turn. Oh, this now. is now, now we're getting it in. It can be check, bet. There are no 10s left. They've both been folded. Going to snap call. Yeah, this is, I was like, this is where it's all going in. Yep. 
Nine of spades. Habib, nice little dub up here. J-Rock, tens were good to him earlier. Tens not so good to him this hand. And I bet you Carlos is like, why couldn't you have, why couldn't I, you know, why couldn't <laughs> that happen earlier, so. Did I say 17, so, sorry, 48 players. So another, another prize pool, they're on so, so one last minute registration. Because there are literally 12 seconds left yep. in the in the break. In the break. So price will now up to 12k. 18 players left remaining in that tournament. 55 viewers in this chat for five, five, ten. All right. Eddie's going to go find an alternate. We, in 15 minutes, we are going to lose a player. I remember one of these players showed up at 4 o'clock thinking it was streamed from 4 to 8 instead of 5 to 9. Habib raises to 225 with pocket fives. It's going to fold around to Frankie, and the hand is over. For those of you who have not heard about this tournament tomorrow, $10,000 guarantee starts at 2 o'clock p.m., $130 buy-in. The next-gen boys are going to be in the commentary booth. I predict 300 players tomorrow. That's a 30K prize pool for a $130 tournament. It's the place to be. Get here early, register, beat the lines. I tell you that, and you don't believe me, and I'm going to have a line out the door tomorrow. So get here early, guys. A lot of nothing going on in this hand. OFC with top pair from the small blind just going to lead out for 75, and it's going to fold around to Habib, who has... Middle pair makes a call, needs a four or a six, doesn't get it. Ace on the turn. I love the table talk between these two. Oh my god, I called his hand out. What the fuck? Oh, I, yeah, I paired my queen is going to win this hand. You tell me what I have. I say yes. Give another shout out to the low stakes rounding. Class, seminar, weekend retreat, whatever you want to call it. Give Kim an email. Kim at pkrventures.com. Get on that list. I think there's four, maybe five spots available. Bridge Mike limps in. $25. Habib with Ace Jack limping in. Gate, wow. Ace, oh, this is going to be a good one. We've got Ace King limping in, Ace Jack limping in, Gator makes it 150. Uh, OFC calls, Frankie's got Ace Queen, all the aces are dead. This is a huge, huge run of hands. Frankie's going to raise it up 500. Danny gets rid of it. Moneymaker's going to get rid of it from his straddle. We've got Ace Queen, Ace King, Ace Jack, Ace Jack, and King King. Five real hands.
Danny folded, Moneymaker folded. <laughs> Habib says somebody's going to call, somebody's going to go all in. I have to prepare myself. He shows J Rock his ace jack suited. Just calls. Gator loves this. All of the aces are dead. Nobody's going to suck out on him with a single pair. Can you just rip it right now? There's 2K in the pot. You got four players playing with you. Hand 67 is going to be a wild one. Makes it 2,500. Uh, the OFC is getting off cheap with Ace Jack suited. Frankie's thinking, man, I could have just saw a flop for this one. I tried to steal it. Looks like a squeeze from Gator. After Frankie raises, Bridge Mike calls and Habib calls. I don't... Ah, man. Bridge Mike has over $9,000. He's going to call. Habib's got 4K behind. And he's like, how can I be good right now with Bridge Mike in? Guys, come in later. No, no, I fold. Come in. I fold. I fold. Come in. What's up, guys? <laughs> so Danny is... <laughs> Danny is a beeps coach and he says, Coach, come here. Danny says, Tell me later. He says, No, I fold. Come here. Look at this. 597. Bridge Mike has no outs. It shows 13%, but we know every ace was folded. It doesn't matter. Run it 10 times. There are no aces left in the deck. Bridge Mike is drawing dead. Gator's going to get all of this money. Oh, the jack gets there. I gotta call it. Oh. I told you. I have a straight. Son, ace jack. Oh, the jack gets there. You can't make that call, though. Ace jack of diamonds. Ace jack of diamonds. Ace jack of diamonds. Ace jack of diamonds. Jeez. Yeah, he had ace jack of diamonds. But I made 2,500. It's a hell of a race. Wow. Ace jack of diamonds. What a hand. Ooh, no, no, he folded. That's what I said. Wow. I'm gonna give All right, that was a huge hand. It was ace jack against ace jack against ace queen against king king against ace king. Hi, hey, yeah, king's hold. I know he. King's he hold. Game, that's why you don't Bridge and Mike goes broke on a flop, drawing dead. They run it twice, and he has no chance of getting. There. He's drawing dead on the flop. Yeah. Wow, who won? The, who won the hand? Ah, uh, Gator. Nice little hand there. And, and he won so much because he, they made it 500 pre and got like three callers, and then he jacks it to 25, and uh, Bridge Mike calls, and then Bridge Mike just shoves on the flop. I uh, I cropped that hand also. Lucky, lucky hand, lucky hand. You know, actually, I prepared myself. I'm going to do all day I told you. You know, somebody got a raise, I got to do all day. And that, oh. Yeah, Habib said if somebody raises, I have to go all in. He would have he would have uh, rivered a straight hey, uh, with Ace Jack. Frank is going to top off. Yeah, the significant under, uh, under the significant other, 
Eliandra in the chat. Zangare on fire. Started the stream off slow. He's been picking up some steam here as of late. Made a big fold earlier on the button with the Ace King against a pretty much a four bit jam from OC who had Jax. Probably ended up being a good fold there as he picked up a lot of chips. Now over five digits. Last week had a big W. Looking for another big win this Saturday evening. Back to back weekends. Got Judy in the chat saying nice hand, Paul. Again, thank you for all those of you tuning into this chat. It's plugged in out there. Actually, never hand. mind. Never mind. You don't need to do it all. Again, we got about an hour and 15, 20 minutes left in the stream, give or take. What hand did Frankie lose? He was up a bit. Uh, he just raised it uh, 500 and four people called and then uh, Gator shoved and he had to fold. Okay. And then he lost another one. Benny's in the box again. V running action tracker. Myself. Eddie, the Asian sensation in the booth, along with Senor Eric, the almighty chop block Anderson. Let's go. Back to back days in the booth. Do what we love. Last night's game was lineup was awesome. Again, a preview of what's to come here at Poker House Dallas, picking up the live stream game, picking up the lineups, making some phone calls, some texts. Players across the state, players across the nation that want to come down here and fly down here to play this live stream. Maybe look for a 2550 with a 50 big blind Annie coming up game. Maybe more 5100. So, yeah, that's the new trend. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. I was talking to Moneymaker and some of the players before yesterday's stream. You know what kind of what they prefer this 2550 three blind game. And my maker's like, that's a Texas thing. No one does that ever. I'm like, fair. So everybody was like, 25, 50, 50 big blind A's, the new trend. They're like, okay, let's go with it. And I said, okay, start off with that, and then maybe we'll go up from there. You so, know what they do in Midland? Instead button. of one, two, they go five on the button. Yep, I like it. Builds a bigger pot. They said it's a big pot. I was there helping them with their live stream, and they, uh, I said, so hypothetically, if everybody folds the button, just gets their money back. And he says, that's never happened. <laughs> You're in Texas, son. Right. Hypothetically, if everybody folds, they'll get their money back. Yes. <laughs> hypothetically. Jacob Lennon. Last week had a nice little week. Come down from West Virginia to come play our live stream. Jake, you're welcome back. Chris Nicholson in the chat. West Virginia says Gator taking on Texas. The Mountaineers, right? That's the West Virginia Mountaineers. I think. I, is that sports? Yeah. I don't know. I think is they're that in the like Big college 12. ball or something. Yeah, I think they're in the Big Twelve. I don't know what that means. That's the conference. The football coach used to be the football coach at West Virginia before he went to came to U of H. Okay. U of H used to be in the okay. A A C. Now I think they're moving to. So Big Habib 12. did not know we were playing five to nine. He thought we were playing four to eight. He has to go back to work. I got gotcha. you. So. Uh, <laughs> I literally on my text I sent them in all caps. I say change of time. <laughs> yeah, we don't read all caps. <laughs> We just know it's four to eight. I, know, okay. I can make it. For the record, I have Paul Tassoun players in the uh, viewers in the chat. Your boy gets here at three thirty. I'm like, dude, you're early. He's like, change starts at four. I'm like, he's like, where is everybody? Where is everybody? I'm like, did you not read the text? He's like, four to eight. I was like, I'm pretty sure it said change of time in all caps on top nine. with the appropriate times. And he's like, I don't know. He checks his phone. He's like, yeah, change of time. Okay, be here by four thirty. Okay, my bad. So he just sits and waits. Yeah. So <laughs> he says I have to leave before eight, though. No, I was talking about Paul Tassone. Oh, Paul! Remember he okay. was here earlier because we got Gator those pictures. Yeah. Early. 
All right. I thought I thought you were talking about her, Habib. I mean, yeah, Habib. Yeah. Because Habib had to leave too, also. Chris in Florida playing at Naples. Chris, Eric, and I were down there. Not not Naples, but we were at Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach helped run Setting a live, their live stream. Yeah, helped them set that up, finishing it up, helped train their players. They have a nice setup. If you're anywhere near Daytona Beach, stop in and say hi. Check out their live stream. Hope you all are enjoying this live stream 5510. I think now I'm going to send text. Instead of like change time, it's going to say, please read full text in yeah. all caps. <laughs> right. And then I'm going to send a secondary text after that that says, make sure you read text. Yeah, Kevin, yeah. it was funny. Like, he's like, uh, he's like, where's everybody? It's 3.30. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? I said, be here at 4.30. He's like, uh, and I like pull up the text. He's like, I literally say change of time. And I say, be here at 4.30. He's like, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to wait. So I was good at sport about it. Well, he had to be a good sport because that's his fault. But, yeah. but he's been really good for the stream. He's been enjoying it. Told him, hey, man, you're more than welcome to play our streams. Enjoyed him and Jacob Brick. Linton, who's in the chat as well, cheering on his boy. J-Rock on this hand with Jax in the big blind. Going to make it 150. Carl's going to defend with queen three offsuit. Now, a lot of players have the tendency to over defend. We've seen that from Carlos. We've seen that from ONC. Eh, it's really not a good scenario where defending queen three offsuit is. Let it go. You got, if you guys are hearing me in the background, we've got I'm, like, Ace Lurie King limping in, Ace Jack limping in, Gator makes it uh, 150. Uh, OFC calls. Alternate. Frankie's got Ace Queen. All the aces are dead. I'm just gonna like say, so, just a reminder. It's four to you know five to nine. I like I, I, I like how it's funny that everyone knew. Well, except for Paul, but everyone knew it was five to nine p.m. except for Habib and Paul. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, what? All right, I've got that four minute clip in the hopper. Probably can do that at the um, flip. Yeah, we'll do that at the flip that doesn't matter in another 10 minutes. crazy because today we're going to get probably at least 10 hands out less than we did yesterday. Yesterday it was a bigger game. Yesterday there was lots of three betting, four betting. Not too many multi-way pots. Not too many, too much in terms of tough decision making. Oh, Carlos has the flush draw. I will see what the ace of diamonds though. He's got blockers. Blockers. Now we talk about the concept of blockers. They're important. But as the streets progress, Ooh, pre there's a nine of diamonds. That's going to go OSC the nut draw. And Carlos is deep. Carlos is very deep. After, after. Oh! oh my, that card could save <sighs> OSC. Okay. No, Carlos is just going to check back. I'm wrong again. You have to think that you have two diamonds. There's four diamonds out there. Only three of them beat him. The ace, the king, the queen. What is why that? didn't OFC, why did he check four times? I guess he bet the flop and then checked the turn, checked the river. So come back into a What raise. a big raise. 10x. He's putting Carlos on hope. 8x. Oh, he does call. Oh. He does not want to get bluffed. Oh. What a tough spot there. And oh, the thing, here's the thing. Carlos hasn't played bad all evening. He's just run into it a couple of times. You know, two pair against a set. Yeah, and that one. Jack he, high against ace high. He could have found a fold there, but... I mean, if he had king of diamonds, king, yeah. jack of diamonds, king, I don't ace, remember what's king, what. Ace, king, queen beats him. Yeah. So. He has the jack high. Makes it a little easier to call. It's 
60 viewers in the chat. Let me see how many likes we have. Okay. Let's do this. Hand, uh, 80. I'm going to give you guys till 8 o'clock. So you got 8 minutes. Let me know what hand 80 is, what the pot's going to be. We're going to give away some merch. Okay. Closest wins. Price is right style. Price is right style. So, hand 80. 8 minutes. Give me what you think the pot's going to be. The closest to get it. The closest to the pot without actually going over... Uh, hoodies. 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 Courtesy of Carlos. Courtesy of Carlos. Now, if he gets stuck like 10K, I don't want to ask him for another $100. No, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he does well. He's, he's he's doing all right. He's doing all right. <laughs> Cup, have you had to leave because <laughs> he didn't read the text message that I sent him that said it was a change of time, even though... Yeah. At the top, I actually have it in all caps and multiple exclamation points. Change of time. Hey, Carlos just won $110. That's two hoodies. That's two hoodies. Let's there. go. Again, Carlos down about 3800 Just because he's down 3800 it's actually not indicative of how he's played. He's about oh, super he's, solid. He's playing very solid. He just got cooler twice. Now, since I, I know, Carlos, you're going to go back and you're going to watch this list. Not that you've played b bad in prior streams, but this is probably one of the best streams you have. And don't let the results... Yeah, don't be results-oriented. Yeah, don't be results Small sample size, and you're playing great. You played great the whole stream. Ace-8 against a set of 10s, two-pair two was a big one that it's hard to get away from. Hands, hand 80, you guys have six minutes to get your votes in. We're going to give away hoodie oh, curls. Oh, cups going low. Okay. That actually worked... It, it would have worked yesterday. No, everybody went over the random hand that was 200. And yeah, everybody it was like, said 1,000. All right, let's take a look at this hand here. Carlos top pair. J-Rock middle pair. Backdoor draws for Bridge Mike. OFC with not much of anything. Yeah. Shout out Scott Friedman. Chopped up a tournament at the Hustler last night. It was an $80 buy-in. I think he cashed out for like uh, 1200 or something like that. Kudos to you, Mr. Friedman. Let's go back. Let's see how many likes we have so far. I need more likes. What are we at? 59, you said? No, we're at 31. 31, 31 now. 59 viewers. 31 likes. At the same time, in 10 minutes, however many likes we have above 31, we'll give, that way, we'll give away that many thousand points. Got it. So, Poker Monkey, I am anti-chop, as you know. In a situation like this, when you're playing in uh, small buy-in tournaments that get really turbo-y towards, towards the, the end, end, I don't mind modifying the prize pool like they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, but I still don't pay the bubble. Christy Jensen linking it 32 likes, so you at least they're going to get 1,000 points. All right, Frankie look Clock at this. trips. And he's blocking straight draws. Let's check so it. He doesn't need to bet. He can either check or bet small, like 75. Yeah, he made the 100 pre and Bridge Mike came along with it. 240 in the pot. And it's done. He made it 60 and Bridge Mike just snap folded. So Shane was out on the floor. There's one player left on the list. Um, gonna short buy. When I say short buy, buying for the minimum of 1500. Right. So he's gonna take a shot. <laughs> Playing with the big boys. Let's go. Good luck to Shane. Um. One thing I didn't know they were doing the mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I would have told him that if I knew. I should. So we're doing a 5 5 10 25. <laughs> it's basically a four blind game. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Sorry. Yesterday? 
I, I asked him, he's like, what's the midnight like my 1500? What's the biggest stack? 13.5? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I think there's four stacks for 10 You can buy in 10% of the biggest stack. Go heads up to this flop. Good board oh. for Moneymaker to continue barreling on. Yeah, Moneymaker's got open ended. Bridge has bottom pier open ended. They're, they've got each other's outs. Pair plus combo draw. Jack of clubs. That helps Moneymaker. He'll win with a king also or a queen. Brings him some additional chop opportunity outs. Oh. Dub boat. Dub boat. See if Moneymaker's gonna stab here. I don't like trying to bluff Bridge Mike. He just calls. Yeah. And <laughs> I think that might have been more blocker bet where he was like, man, can I just steal this cheap? No, I can't. Never mind. Hand 76. Four hands away. Does everybody have their uh, their guess? Their guess in there? Well, they have two minutes to get it in. Got two minutes. Can you grab my phone while you're out there? It's plugged in charging. I like it. Scott says 666,666 and TLS says 777. We are on hand 77. OFC with a 10 jack suited in the high jack. He's going to make it 125. Carlos with a king 10 is going to make the call. Frankie's folding jack 7 suited. Gonna fold around a chain. First hand of the table, he lets it go. Ooh, deuce, deuce, five, two clubs. Did you forget my phone? Ah, oh, he put it in his pocket. All right, we're swapping. Now that they're doing this, check this out. I'm not positive what we're going to get. I'm going to hit go. We've got Ace King limping in, Ace Jack limping in. Gator makes it 150. They can hear us though, right? Uh, OFC calls. I think they can, but I think Frankie's they can got also Ace hear the Queen. Table. All the aces are dead. This is a huge, huge run of hands. Frankie's going to raise it up 500. Danny gets rid of it. Moneymaker's going to get rid of it from his straddle. We've got Ace Queen, Ace King, Ace Jack, Ace Jack, and King King. Five real hands. Danny folded, Moneymaker folded. Habib <laughs> says somebody's going to call, somebody's going to go all in. I have to prepare myself. He shows J Rock his ace jack suited. Just calls. Gator loves this. All of the ace are dead. Nobody's going to suck out on them with a single pair. Can you just rip it right now? There's 2K in the pot. You got four players playing with you. And 67 is going to be a wild one. Makes it 2,500. Uh, OFC is getting off cheap with Ace Jack suited. Frankie's thinking, man, I could have just saw a flop for this one. I tried to steal it. 
Looks like a squeeze from Gator. After Frankie raises, Bridge Mike calls and Habib calls. I don't. Ah, man. Bridge Mike has over $9,000. He's going to call. Habib's got 4K behind. And he's like, how can I be good right now with Bridge Mike in? <laughs> so Danny is <laughs> Danny is Habib's coach and he says coach come here Danny says tell me later he says no I fold come here look at this 597 Bridge Mike has no outs it shows 13% but we know every ace was folded it doesn't matter run it 10 times there are no aces left in the deck Bridge Mike is drawing dead. Gator's going to get all of this money. Oh, the jack gets there. Oh. oh, the jack gets there. You can't make that call, though. Wow. What a hand. All right, after that little clip there. Missing hand, but we made sure there was nothing going on that was substantial. Now, this uh, is Shane had pocket sixes and ended up seeing a cheap showdown and picked up a modest pot. Yeah, so this is hand A. This is the hand we're going with. Whoever gets the closest to this pot without going over, he's going to win a hoodie. So here it goes. Hand 80. Here we go. Again, I didn't realize there was a mandatory straddle on, which I would have told Shane that there was if yeah, I knew. Yeah, give him a little warning. Yeah, so... I did tell him the minimum buy is and what the max stack was at the time when he asked. So, all right. Looks like it's going to be a limp pot, multi-way, five ways to this flop. Queen high board, two spades. Shane flopping top pair. OC also flopping top pair. Weak kicker, though. I get a kick out of some of these people putting like ones and sixes and stuff in their guess. 1333. Smallest chip is a five. OFC is going to bet here and he's going to bet 75. Shane's going to make the call. King of spades. Bring some additional draws on the turn six spades no one with a spade but shane with the best hands gonna go check check all right pot's 280 <laughs> is it really <laughs> yes 280 um so let's see i think poke was it poker monkey or no, no he, he still guessed 400 oh gosh um 280 is uh did somebody bet 32 Kristen bro? jensen bet 32 Double check that. Let me make sure. <laughs> There's at, no way. At 7:55, she said, uh, "Where's Kristen Jensen?" Make that 32. 32. Well, Kristen Jensen. Kristen Jensen. Jensen, you win a hoodie for that typo. She probably meant to put 320. That's so, hilarious. Well, congratulations for betting 32. The only one that. <laughs> The, the next closest was 350. That was who? Uh, Nicholson. Yeah, and Chris Nicholson, he bet, he guessed it three times, so I think he was serious about that number. <laughs> and he gets a beat by Kristen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was the smallest pot of the night for sure. <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> yeah, Scott, 6,666, just a little pinch. Just a, little, just a bit outside. 
Uh, Scott sent me a, a personal text going, hey, what's wrong with the stream? Uh, during that flip, during the dealer change, we put on that huge hand replay. That's what was wrong with the stream. Bridge Mike has the uh, open ender with the 910 Jack Queen. And this chop pop. Everything. King High is going to chop it up. <laughs> Should have been something. Look at, the, look at these updated cumulative winnings. And Shane's new to the table. Up. Triple is in for 1500. Up about 460. So J Rock, big winner again. Gator again. Danny, OFC. Big losers, Frankie. Moneymaker, Bridge Mike, Carlos, and Habib. I think Habib was down like seven. I think so. Seven plus. Uh, he he had a little comeback at the end, but it was like okay. six, seven thousand, six thousand. Yeah. With that being said, he had to leave because he was unaware of the time. So I think it was approximately two, twelve, three, four, thirty-two, thirty-eight. You're in the math. Oh, just kidding. I got a I got an Excel up up in the background. I'll do that. You follow the action here, and we will. Uh... Hand eighty-two. As we push into the last hour, Shane with Ace Queen off, Ace Queen two on the button, and sometimes it's scary to play against these small stacks, right? Because because then you got to just play for stacks. Yeah, you know you're playing for stacks, and if you have like six k, seven k, five k, we got seventy thousand on the table. Yeah, seventy k. I mean that's that's a lot for a five five ten game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, that's a good hand for Shane. New to the table. Um, unfortunately, it's Bridge Mike with two fives, and he's not going to give him another nickel. New player, run good. Yeah, flops us, flops Broadway with the Royal Flush. Uh, yeah, super sick. He's up 600 in two hands. Having a nice little start to us Poker House live stream. Debut. Now, Shane actually has played on our live stream before. Do you remember when? Uh, I do not know. Remember when we had that uh, duel against all the other clubs in the DFW area? Oh, right on. He, the, uh, he represented the hideaway. The team, tur team the, tournament. The tag team that tournament. That was so fun. Yeah, he represented the hideaway. I don't remember who his partner was, but I think his nickname is Prosper Donkey. So yes. I think he lives in Prosper, and they call him Donkey because he's a donkey. I didn't come up with that nickname for those of you it in the chat. It was self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed. So... I believe it's Crossbird Donkey, so... You can exit out of that spreadsheet. You got it. 70K? Is that what you said? 70K. I'm a 5510. Whoops. Don't save. We don't need to save that. We know Christy with her bet, uh, with her guess of 32 wins. No. You know, she she wasn't betting 32. She was not. What was she betting? What was she saying? No one won. Remember, she, was, she, was, she liked the stream, and she was number 32. Oh. Nobody won. Nobody won. All right, let's run it back, guys. How many likes do we have? All right. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was all like. Shane, again, with the open ender, flops Broadway. The very next hand, he's got an open ended straight draw. Bridge Mike with bottom pair is going to uh, let it go. Carlos is just going to bluff at it. Um, Carlos hits a seven for the best hand. 34. 34. So everybody gets 3,000 <clears throat> chips. Points. Shane's going to bet at it. It's a semi-bluff. He's got queen high right now, but he's got a lot of outs. He can get a eight or a king. Four a straight or a jack for just... Oh, and he does get it through. Carlos, let's go. All right. So let's jump into Cloudbot. Let's go to Loyalty. Let's go to add 3,000 points to everybody there you go guys um all right so nobody won the hoodie starting now we're gonna go hand hand 90 we're on hand 83 right now so hand 90 what's your new guess should we just run back all those guesses or do we want to make new guesses go ahead and give us new guesses okay I 
All right, we're gonna go hand 90. We're gonna redo it. Danny with top pair, J Rock with a flush draw. I can, I can, uh, Danny checks, lets J Rock take control of the betting, calls 125. Board pairs on the turn, bringing in backdoor hearts as well. And you really have to be really careful navigating these flops with these small flush draws. You can't get too excited about it. Even if you hit your, like a small flush draw, like five, five high flush draw. Yeah. Because there's better flush draws out there. So. All right. Give us your guesses. Hand 90. Since we had no winner. I was like, did Chris didn't win? I was like, 32. That's such a You're random like, number. Why would you guess 32? And then it, literally that's what it was. So. Yeah. I need you guys to like, share, and subscribe. We got Brian back in the box to close it out for the last hour. Can we get about 45 minutes left yep. on y'all's end? We'll probably do like at like 835, 840, give them like a three-hand warning, five-hand warning kind of thing. So, How many players left in that tournament? I don't know. We like to live stream that final table, but uh, unintended consequence of moving this back an hour, we might miss it. Yeah, I don't think about that. I, I didn't either. <laughs> I, I forgot that we live stream on Saturday night, so, you know, when I get here at noon and I leave at midnight, it's a long day. All club flop. Monotone. Monotone. Board. Monotone. Danny Marks, if you're listening, going back. Monotone. <laughs> monotone. <laughs> monotone. <laughs> In all caps. All right. So Brian has that seven is just off screen, and it didn't show up, so V had to type it in. Okay. That's why it didn't pop up immediately. He just got sloppy with that river. So there's 14 players left. There's a possibility. It's gonna be. It's gonna be close. How many players do we have total? 48. 48. Okay. And they actually got started late today. Remember? It did get started late. Uh, we had uh, local legend Bart come in. And he's like, uh, hey, tell us there's a, there's a train behind him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, he's like, there's a trail of people coming behind me. Make sure it's going to go. I was like, <laughs> okay, we'll hold we'll, we'll, yeah. it. Because usually we waited 15. What's minutes. the rule? Like you, we wait like one level or something well, like that? Like, like half hour, 20 minutes, half yeah. hour. If we don't get six players, then we don't expect them to, and we don't worry about it. Yeah. But he says, there's a trail of people coming behind me. Uh, a lot of clubs out here. Yeah, no one's going to hit a flush draw. I say that, watch, all, yeah, mo watch another monotone club, club, board. Club. Flop. Oh, see, I like it. with the 8 9 suited in the cutoff. I, so I like this as an isolation bet. Again, Three, I've, I've talked about this. That's a big bet. I've talked about this multiple times. If you're going to like 3 bet raise, a hand like 8 9 suited, 7 8 suited, 6 7 suited is a good candidate to do it with because you have a lot of board coverage. Yes. Meaning that if you flop high cards because you 3 bet raise or whatever, that board's gonna hit your range a lot, People and if you don't, put you, you on those cards. Yeah, but let's say you hit, let you say you three bet, seven six suited, and the flop is seven seven, queen, right? No one's ever gonna put you on a seven because they're not they're not putting you on a hand like seven six suited. So, this is a really good hand for Carlos with a three hundred and seventy five dollar pre flop range. You don't put them on eight five three, which is exactly why OFC has it. Yeah, makes it about 45% pot. Now, Carlos just can't feel good about it. He may, he may feel okay about his hand, actually. May call one street. j Rock can fold. Not enough backdoor equity to hit anything. Nine of spades. Oh, oh wow. wow. OFC just has a really good read on the deck. 
He raises 375 pre-flop and turns two pair. Half pot. Very neutral size bet here on the turn. He lets it go. Yeah. Carlos floated one time just to see. Yeah. Just to see. It's OFC. You have to show me. Nice little amount of people in our chat this evening, 8 p.m. here, Central Time, Dallas, Texas. Eddie, the Asian sensation in the booth, along with Senor Eric, the almighty chop block Anderson. On the Saturday evening, 5-5-10 five, five, match the stack game here at Poker House Dallas and Poker House Live. J-Rock, ace, ace king offsuit, plus one, going to make it. 100. There is a mandatory straddle. I did not know there was a man mandatory straddle. Yeah, sorry, Shane. My bad. I'm hoping you go back. I did not know. I didn't know what the stack sizes were, but I didn't know there was a mandatory straddle, and I totally forgot to tell him about the flip, so I just need to remember when. Yeah. Oh, Shane here. Look at this. F open ender with the redraw to the flush. What? I mean, Frank it with top two pair. Wow, look at this. I don't think Shane's going to mind coming to the stream. And I don't see the seven out. I don't see anybody with a queen. Jarrah going to see bet. Frankie going to raise here. Going to make it 550. 275. 175. 350. 550? Just going to call. With top two. Top two. Maybe try to keep his bluffs in. Now, this turn is going to be interesting to see how players navigate, irrespective of what the turn is. Jack, oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, we're done. We're done. Game over. Frankie's going to win a pot. It's going to slow down Shane and J-Rock. J-Rock represented something. Yeah, he can bet small he's, here. He's done with it. 350, 400. There's 1,000 with a pot. 300 would be like 30%. Just oh, checks. I, I don't hate that move. Give them a chance to bluff. Oh, yeah. Give Shane. Go. Yes. I love it. Now, it also gives J-Rock uh, two pair aces and jacks with the a king, king kicker. kicker. Wow. And he has the king of spades blocking the nut flush draw. So, I'm interested to see what Frank is going to do here. He's going to get... Did it just go check, check? Yes. Oh, wow. 60% pot. Great bet. Shane's going to have to call here, unfortunately, I think. Yeah, for sure. I don't know what J-Rock's going to do here. Yep. Oh. J-Rock's like, holy crap, what just happened? Yeah, I was not expecting that. Call? He was like, I was hoping to get a, a cheap showdown. Yeah, I think J-Rock may be putting Shane on a jack or weak jack. Yeah. Can, J-Rock can fold. Yeah, good yeah. fold. Shane's like, flush boat. Dang it. The boat. Nice hand Frankie there. Shane losing his profit that he's made so far in his short time on the stream. I was just saying, what a great flop for Shane. Yeah, 100% op open-ender with a, with a flush redraw. Love it. Then turning with a turn for Frankie there. Yeah, you still can't fold there with your stack depth, even if you put him on aces. Yeah, he said I'd be pretty. I feel pretty sick. Yeah, you're you're, you're vomiting in your mouth if you're Frankie. And a little bit drips out on yeah. the table, <laughs> for sure. <clears throat> I, mean, I don't think it would all stay in the mouth. But yeah, that's yucky. Especially if you're Frankie, he's yeah. turned to so many coolers over the past on few weeks. Stream. Yeah. On the next gen stream, the 5 10 25 stream, the 5 5 10 stream, just. Yeah. You get wrecked. You just, I feel like it's just like you get wrecked. And you're going, Mom, what'd I do wrong? <laughs> Nothing. It's just. Cards hate you. 35 likes. Oh, what are we doing? Hand 90, right? Hand 90. We're on 88 right now. Okay. 
Right now, Poker Monkey's at 200, Frank's at 1775. <laughs> Everywhere in between. Multi-way action. 500 in the pot. No one with a king, but two players with a nine. Jerry Rock out pipping OFC. He's got the best nine. Six percent pot. OFC going to call probably. He's no. like, no. He's like, never mind. I'm drawing dead. If you have a king, it's a Badoogie board. Yeah, it is. Quick little 385 in that. Uh, back to back Saturdays for Christopher Cashman in the chat looking for points. Sorry, Chris. I respond to your text. No one wants to play post stream. Chris, you have zero points. Um, <laughs> since you just got here, Chris, on hand 90, I need you to quickly type in what the pot size is going to be. Price is right style. If you go over, it doesn't count. Winner gets a hoodie. Chris Cashman uh, playing the 5-10-25 game 50 last, last night. night. 5-10-25-50. Like Basically, I mean, it was a straddle. It was like a four, four blind game last night. It was fun. So Cashman, are you ready for some 25-50 with a 15 big blind anti cash stream here at Poker House Dallas? Let's go. Money maker with two sevens on the button makes it 75 to All go. All right, like it. Bridge Mike going to call the small blind 10-8 clubs. <laughs> Again, I've talked about like these late blinds, like the third in the straddle, over defending. I said those are definitely ways where you can like queen. bleed some money. No one with the queen. Seven's the best four. hand. It's a good flop for two sevens. Checks to him. He's gonna bet another hundred. <laughs> just picks it up. All right, this is it, guys. Ready? Eight ninety-five. Hi, Chris uh, says. Nine, Cashman. Oh, he just he prices right Ronald, who said eight ninety. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start sending out invites for next week's stream. I think we're ready, maybe. I, so I got, I, I can't name drop anybody. I've name dropped in the past, and I shouldn't have, but I'm going to have some fun players coming down for the month of March. Some of those players were on yesterday's stream. Some of those players are from different parts of the state. Some of them are from different parts of the country. See, the pot's already at 95. Yeah. All right. So now we're at 145. Cashman's in. Let's go. All right. Building this pot up already a little bit. Last time the pot was like Boom. 200. Was All right. like, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> All right, it's going to be four-handed. <laughs> All right, Poker Monkey's out. We're at 215 already. 200 is out. All right. 975. Rainbow. Carlos with a gutter to a straight. Backdoor spades. J-Rock with top here, top kicker. All right, Chris. OFC. Chris oh, Nicholson's out. Oh, okay. everybody Hunter calls. Pierce is out. Devin's out. Mitchell's out. <laughs> Two clubs doesn't change anything. I think J Rock's going to continue to barrel. Nines need a little protection on this turn. Oh, he's just going to check. Okay. Oh. Four of clubs. J Rock with the best hand. Who's above 600? Let's see if he's going to make. I wonder if K hey, KFC. OFC is going to. If everybody folds, that does not count. That bet doesn't count. And Mitchell A wins with 565. I've counted it. It does count? I've counted because it counts towards the actual pot. But All right. If it See, so when you're on the internet, the bet that's not called doesn't count. Okay, so then I incorrectly gave people stuff in the past. All right. So who wins then? That's fine. Because if they went like a million and nobody calls, that doesn't go to the pot. Fair enough. All right. So... Uh, Mitchell A with 565. Mitchell A, 565. You get a hoodie. You get a hoodie. Courtesy. 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 C5. <laughs> of 
Carlos in seat five. And um, let me see, let me pull up uh, this. Cortez Law Firm donating hoodies to you tonight. Congratulations. Stop by, uh, and we're not mailing stuff out anymore. That's too expensive. You stop by the... What if you're like in a different state? Well, I will send you a gift card and you can buy something. All right. Moneymaker flopping top pair here, but Gator with trip threes. I believe. Oh, I think action getting corrected here. Get this action right. Hand 91. We normally average 100 hands in a four hour stream. We're going to beat that today. What's that? I said we normally average 100 hands. We're going to beat that today. We're on hand 91, and we've got a half hour. Mitchell, are you in the room? Yeah, so. Oh, wait. Oh, bummer. I thought. That hand was all weird. Hand 91. Text me that number so we can remember and look, go back and look at it. Bridge Mike makes a call with a queen 10 in the hijack. Gets around to OFC in the big blind with 8-5 suited. Checks around. No one with an ace, right? No, Carlos with a jack has the best of it. Bridge Mike has an overcard to the pier and a gutter. He's got a gutter. Gu and a gutter. Poker Monkey saying that dealer is a nice guy. Uh, Brian, Big Brian, one uh -oh. of the best. Speaking of the gutty. Got there. Uh, Carlos has third pair now. Kind of I don't value expect it. him to call anymore. Yeah, when a, when a second overcard comes to your yeah. pair, you got you're second pair turns into third pair, yeah. and Bridge Mike is firing at it. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I hate those like hands where you like raise pre flop. Okay. Pair of tens, whatever. Jack on the flop. Oh, it's not too bad of a scary card, right? Turns like a king, and we're like, okay, that's it's not good. Ace, Ace. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I was done on the turn, but. RV <laughs> Phil in the chat says KFC. That's I, great. What, no, what I, I instead of OFC, I accidentally said KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed it. Yeah, I was like, OFC. <laughs> that, that was accident. Oh, I missed Bill. it. KFC. <laughs> I was, hoping, I was hoping nobody caught nobody that. Nobody caught it except for RV Phil. <laughs> RV Phil caught that. So I was like, well. That's hilarious. OFC, KFC. But OFC representing that poker house red sweaty here. Oh, yeah. Red hoodie, got, sweaty. Sweaty. Damn. It's a sweater with a hoodie. <laughs> a sweaty. It's a sweaty. That's what I want to call it from now on. It's a sweaty. It's a sweater hoodie. Kind of like the sweater vest. Yeah. Moneymaker with ace king. Danny right, makes a 175 with ace seven. 500? Pre-stated. This is kind of gross on a straddle versus straddle. Oh. It's like small blind versus big blind. Just leveling each other yeah. now. Like if, this, if Danny had a hand like ace-10 suited or something, or ace-10 off, ace-jack off, I think he can call here or hand like king-queen. King, but Moneymaker could could just be that sick to just three-bet him with nothing. Yeah. And Danny like, never mind. I don't disagree with that. That's so funny. So speaking of the VPIP game that he won that Swooty from, He's up at the top. 54% a little bit. He can't win back-to-back -back hoodies. No, he cannot. It's not how it um, works. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Got a few minutes left in the stream. I'm going to go out there in like a half hour. five, <laughs> ten minutes and just tell him five hands, right? That sounds about right. Okay. Again, Shane making his cash live stream debut as an individual, not as part of a tag team. J-Rock 
Again, the mandatory $25 straddle is on. Going to make it 100 with eight, nine suited in the hijack. You get a call from Danny in the third blind king eight off suit. King eight suited, excuse me. J Rock flopping the best of it, but Danny flops the second nut flush draw. It's going to go check call. Come, could argue this is a check raise. This is a board that's really good for Danny's third blind defending range. Yep, don't. Talking about the V-Pip. Oh, wow. Turn card. Trips for J-Rock. I think Danny has a... He may want to check back here. Especially if he thinks J-Rock has a nine. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Danny's first to act. If he's going to go check call. Oh, wow. Big, big bet. Bets. Nearly pot, about 80% pot here. Oh my gosh, like the nine of spades. Yeah, nine of spades on the river would be so, or eight of spades, eight of spades? <laughs> eight of spades on the, oh no, he has, Dan has eight of spades, so. Well, nine of spades, I don't think Danny's gonna bet. I think J Rock's trying to figure out whether or not he's going to raise or just call. So it's not a tough decision. He's obviously not folding trips. Gonna just make the call. Hopefully, he's going to see a safe or river card that's non spade. Safe river card. River's the boat. Let's see what Danny's going to do here. If he's going to represent a nine. And J Rock speech play asking if Danny had a nine can get him paid. J Rock maybe, you know, pocket sevens. Overpaired to the board, tens, jacks. He was J Rock was the original pre flop raiser in this hand. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? Oh. Holy crap. I What just happened? Wow, he like severely overbet. That's what I'm saying. I the, the speech play on the turn got Danny the rip. The river. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Holy smokes. Wow. And everybody at the table was just like, wow. That speech played by J Rock on the turn asking if Danny had a nine. Got him paid there. J Rock now up 15K. Back to back weekends at 15K, assuming things go well. Danny now down 6K. Gosh, he was up 12. Oh. Did, Eric, you missed. Did you crop it for me? I did not crop it for you because I was not expecting. Okay, so basically the board ran out. Double paired board, nine to five. J Rock had a nine, so he had the boat. But uh, Danny check raised to flop with a flush draw. The board, the board pairs with a nine, and so J-Rock had eight, nine suited. 
And so uh, after Danny check raised flop, he see bet or he continued to barrel on the turn, and then bet one thousand. Uh, I don't remember what the pot was. Uh, he, he bet like twelve hundred. He bet like eighty percent pot. Was he had ninety four? Yeah. I'll go find. Bet it. like eighty percent pot, and then uh, um, J Rock tanks tanks and he asked him, "Do you do you have a nine When he had the nine himself. I love it. So, because J-Rock was the preflop progressor on the button, so he just calls, and then Danny, like, ripped the river, like, 12K into, he ripped, he ripped 12K into 3K. Literally bet 12K into 3K. Look at Danny, just shake his per lips pursed, shaking his head. He's like, God, I can't believe that. So, that speech play on the turn, like Mitchell said, got him paid. Wow, it's full double. J Rock's up 15k for the last four hours. He last week he was up 15k. This guy's just killing it. Yeah, and the whole table just got quiet. I got quiet. I was just, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. J Rock and Gator beating up on these boys. OFC's doing well tonight. Yeah, I think he bet he bet 12k into a pot of. 3K? 3 something? Seldas in a half hour? Yeah. Yeah, if you're in the chat and you want to go to Seldas and do some CCR, meet us there. You can't. Why? Live uh, the final table. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see where they're at. <laughs> wow. Yeah. J Rock gets there. Just running so pure. Bridge Mike isn't going to pay anything. He's got. No, I mean, he's got straight draw plus flush draw. Well, not on a three heart board. He's got the six high flush if a fourth heart comes. And he's and paying I'm it wrong. off. Yep, he's, he's, paying paying it off. he's paying it off. He needs. He, he needs oh, he gets a straight. Yep. Oh. So he's, pu he's putting J Rock on a queen. Oh, he's, he's checking. And he's not. He's checking to be deceptive. He's not checking for for anything. He's got the big straight. This stream is wow. getting stupid. Let's listen to this. I call yeah. if you have a flush, you win. Golly, wow. J Rock back to back Saturdays, up 15k. Big here big. at Poker House Dallas. This is not a small 5-5-10 five, five, stream. This is so gross. Wow. Goodness gracious. J-Rock running good here. I think he wants a permanent seat every Saturday. I and mean, I think everyone else says J-Rock's never invited back on Saturday. <laughs> so. Oh, J-Rock just killing it. Let's pull up this. Boom. Right here. Let's take a, take a gander. We got J Rock, the old, the uh, professional pickleball player, been playing poker for 30 years, and it shows loose passive best game playing in the regular Hollywood game. Goodness gracious. Sinister Saturday. Yeah, well, coined by Frankie. So you know what? Let's, let's roll with it for right now. Savage Sunday. Sinister Saturday. Um, boys are gambling for sure. Just about 20 minutes left on the stream. Gator with Ace King on the straddle. So I unfold that earlier to Frankie makes a bit rip. With King Eight. Interesting that he's not going to raise there. Uh, Frankie raised and then J Rock hits everything and you just got top two against Frankie's it's a very team. disguised top two pair here yeah, very disguised uh, Frankie's gonna bet Gator's gonna call oh and just Gator, check Gator with the the king of spades Frankie checks it back let's see if Gator's gonna bet here where J-Rock is oh J-Rock gonna take the lead yeah well if you both check I'm gonna bet yeah nobody wants his hand I'll take it Gator's trying to decide do I raise or yes. do I let Frankie in? Yes, he raises here because he wants to get Frankie out of the hand. So we talked about this before. When you bet, there's three reasons to bet. 
<laughs> you bet to deny equity, bet to bluff, and you bet to, um, gosh, cannot, gosh darn it. You bet to bluff, you bet for value, and you bet to deny equity. So it's kind of a hand, a bet, a raise there by Gary to deny equity against um, Frankie and to start building some, uh, like building the pot on the turn against J Rock, who, who led turn. So. All the coconuts. Frankie says, I think I had the best hand, and Gainer's telling him, no, you were way behind. All right. Frank's in the hijack with a suited ace five wheel card. He's going to make it 200. Trying to do something as this uh, stream winds down. He's, he's right borderline. He's down about $200. Wants to get it back. Gator calls for a four with pocket fours. Queen 10 7. Uh, OFC best hand, 6% equity here. Bottom pair. Bottom pair though. Good. And a four way, and a four -way, four -way raised pot, 800 yeah. in the pot. Uh, oh, Frankie turns a, a flush draw. Okay, Carlos open ended now. I'll see with a gutter. Jack. Yeah. See if Frankie's gonna bet here. Yeah, gonna try to realize his equity on the river. Three of diamonds. Nothing. Set fourth pair is good. Whoever has yeah, the aggression is gonna I, win this I hand. I bet. I bet. OFC is gonna be like, "There's no way I win this hand. How do I win this hand with a pair of sevens? Unless I'm gonna take a stab here. Frankie with the missed draw. But the way that line was played, like. OFC says, I've got one pair. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you, if OFC was going to. He's like, just no way. How do I win this with fourth pair yeah. in a raised pot and four collars? Three collars, four players total. Well, for the yellow two, pre flop. But I'll take it. It's 7 8. That's awesome. That's great. I love it. OFC, ladies and gentlemen, a.k.a. KFC. Uh, so Jim Leader Jim says, do you pay the daily hourly on top of the turn buy? And you do not. You do have to be a member, which is $10 a day, $30 a month, or free for veterans, first responders, police officers, and firefighters. But it is $10 if you're only going to come once this month. If you're going to come more than three times this month, go ahead and pay a monthly Just member for $30. Pay it. Let's go. But, yeah, you do not have to pay your hourly. That is a great question for people that are new to Texas card room poker. Yeah. Okay. We do things a little differently down here. It's Texas, baby. Let's go. Ace, eight, six. Bridge Mike has an eight. OFC has an eight. But Carlos has an ace in the straddle, double straddle. So it's 5'10", 5'5", 10, 25'50". No one with a six, correct. Now let's see if I think he has the best hand here. I'm gonna kind of put out a little feeler bet, little block bet. Yeah, and then Carlos with a snap call. Moneymaker full, Bridger Mike gonna maybe call, but probably not. Okay, he's gonna call. J rocks out. Three of clubs. Ace is just gonna win. Best hand. Gym leader Jim, come down to Poker House Dallas. You know what? If you come down to Poker House Dallas, you ask for the Asian sensation, I'll get you your daily fee comp. Look at that. Yeah. Let's go. That means you gotta be here early. You gonna play in the tournament tomorrow? Why, no, you, why would playing. you ever come in at noon? I'm not, I told you, I'm taking a break. No, that's what I'm saying. Why are you going to be here to give him a comp membership? No, I'm just going to tell him to ask the Asian sensation. Oh. Just to say the Asian sensation on the live stream. You pull it up. Timestamp. Four hours. 8.46. Yeah. Hand, nine, hand 99. 
Asian Sensation. Asian Sensation. I get a free membership. At the four hour mark. Asian Sensation. Daily membership. Plus one hour. Oh, plus one hour? Plus one plus hour. Plus one hour. Ambassador deal. Now what you should do is make a note and leave it at the front. Well, Jim, Jim Leader, Jim, when do you think you're coming? Okay, Dan, you can look for some redemption here. Pocket Kings, oh, middle position. Moneymaker's sevens. Well, Moneymaker's not going to raise here. He's just going to call. This is really sucky because I feel like I'm doing well in terms of like an analysis, but it's not translating to on the felt. <laughs> It's it's not as easy when you can't see everybody's cards. Yeah, but that's an actual accurate. Okay. Look at this. Danny, top set. See if he's going to bet small here. He got a pretty lock on this board. Buck 50 into 450. Okay, so Jim Leader is going to be here tomorrow. All right. Jim, I just wrote a note says Jim Leader Jim Daily plus one hour, asterisk live stream. We're gonna put that at the front. You just check in with them. This is a bad turn for Carlos. Oh wow! My gosh, Carlos is gonna lose 4K in this hand. Gosh, Carlos has played so damn good tonight. Playing so good. What a frustrate. So that's how I I feel like the past two weeks, Carlos. This kind of crap has happened to me. And it's like demoralizing. There, there was one time I told Kim and Hayden, I was like, can I come back to the apartment for the house? And they're like, yeah, what's wrong? I was like, I'm just getting wrecked. Like I flop open ender with the second nut flush draw. And it just, there's no reason for, for Carlos to think that he's never good here. Oh, you're, yeah. What? Jack with a better kicker. Maybe ace king? I mean, Danny's not raising preflop with threes. I mean, he could. Oh, wow. best pack. This is so sick, man. And the min click is less than a f full bet. Wow. Yeah. Called it. Carlos, that's poker. Got feel for that, man. Carlos is play. This is. I honestly think this is Carlos's best stream in terms of how he's playing. And it just, just it's just the, it just cooler. sucks. Just Poker sucks. I feel for Carlos. Yeah, he's got 3,000 change with 10 minutes left to go in the stream. Wow. A few more hands left here. I mean, I'm not dealing, so I don't care what y'all do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, care what y'all well, do. I, I told Benny, uh, I said, when you tap in, bring a regular deck with you. We're going to turn off the cameras and continue. So we're good to go. Now, usually the five more hands um, announcement draws action. Right. Again, this is the first of five hands left remaining on the stream. Dang, Carlos with the best hand with pocket nines. Two overcards, though. Can't feel too good about this spot. Eight of diamonds gives Danny the nut flush draw on the turn. Turns the nut flush draw with diamonds. Carlos still with the best with two nines. Six of diamonds, Danny, Danny gets, gets there. there. Backdoor diamonds, you can't really put them on a flush draw. Gosh, this is back to back hands. Yeah, I don't think he calls anything though. I, I like the bet though. Chicken yeah. six down. The king. He's representing. Gonna make it like six fifty seven hundred. You don't want to go too big. 
Yeah. Okay. Five X, four and a half X. And this is an auto fold here. I mean, he's going to tank fold. Yeah. Yeah. Good fold, Carlos. I like I like the lead. Yep. Kind of gives you an idea. You know, because if you don't have the ace high flush, you're letting it go. That's how he got that uh, well, you know he from money maker. Oh, he, he was bluffing. Right, right. You know, he was he turned his hand into a bluff with two nines. For sure, but it worked when he did that against money maker. Supper. Zelda. Oh. I haven't looked yet. You can still do it. It's All right. A few more hands here. Nines are just going around tonight. Gosh, all these players with some preferable, oh, with some reasonable hands pre flop. And sometimes players play tighter towards the end of the stream, or, you know, especially Some if they're up. Some people lock it up. Some people lock it up, like you said. But if I'm stuck, I'm anxious to get, get, <laughs> get it, it in. Get it back. <laughs> Ship it? Yeah. After this hand, I'm going to pull up cumulative, and, and we can look at who's trying to get it back. All right, that hand's done. Oh, wrong button. Let's go to payouts. Here. J Rock, J -Rock again. Gator, OFC. Uh, expect Carlos, Bridge Mike, Moneymaker. You know, expect them to be gambling it up and trying to get Not something Moneymaker. Back at the end. No, he doesn't care. Yeah. Gosh. Some big hands earlier. Carlos again playing well this stream, just running into it after running into it after running into it. Danny with that 4x over bet pot on the river on a double paired board after the speech play from J Rock Hen 99, I believe. I don't know. We'll find it. Yeah. 94, I thought. So, J Rock again, back to back wins over 15k on a 5 5 10 match to stack live stream. 5x is buy in. Carlos with the A and the Q. Calls 195. Who made it 195? Is that a straddle to 195? I have no idea. And then J Rock just checks. Um, he straddled to 195. They let him do that? Okay. Oh, you know what? It's like the triple straddle. It can't be. Because it's small blind, big blind. On plus two straddled, he's a hijack straddle. But it would actually say, "Oh, snap! You're right." Yeah, he he was he straddled from the hijack, so he was a triple, actually quadruple straddle. If you call the three yeah, blinds. if Shane was deeper, I could see him calling here. It's just not deep enough to call. Awkward stack sizes. Yeah, J Rock needs an eight, a nine, or a jack. Carlos with the best with an ace high. I bet you he's gonna get an eight on the river. Okay. No, we got a jack. Oh though. my gosh, Carlos, I feel for you, bro. And he may barrel this. Yeah, J Rock just shuts it down. Says I got a jack. Continuing his run gut here. All right, go and pull up for tomorrow's tournament, or at least get it ready to go. Tomorrow's tournament? Yep. Next gen. I was up first ad. Oh, ad oh sorry. Yeah, the next gen tournament. Again, for those of right you in the chat, tomorrow, February 26th, Sunday, 2 p.m., $130 buy in, 20 minute levels, 10K guarantee. Last time ran it was approximately. It was, 200, it was 25, 257 yeah. players. Yeah. I would say. 275 tomorrow. I'll take the over. I'll take the over? I'll take. Yeah, I think over. I'm pushing over. 300. I'm saying it's going to be 275 and 300. 
I don't think it's going to quite hit 300. Okay, under 300? Under 300. I'm going to go like two, between 285 and Ooh, Shane with the ace and the ace. He built it up to 2,000, came to this, the table with 1,500. Lost that hand with Jack. Oh, remember that flush against yep. Frankie's turned boat? Boat lost a big one. He's down to 1,000. And uh, he's looking to get it back now with just a few hands Money left makers to play. Gonna call here. Yep, Bridge Mike going to call. And this is a <laughs> well, that that's seven. This is why I don't like when doing plans it. don't work. Right on this table, that's the first time it's you know, I I don't hate it. Now J Rock's gonna pay him a little something something. Yeah. But. <laughs> guys, jump in the car. Come on, guys, you can't do that. Let me. So he's gonna it's call tough. here. It's, it's, it's so not, rough. He it's not necessary to race six. here. Yep. Can go check rip on turn on river on turn. Okay, let's see what sizing is gonna go. Ten of spades. Eight. Shane with the ace of spades. She's I got a king. He's like he limped in for 25, and everybody just limped. Right. He's like, nobody's going to raise me. He was looking for the lip raise. Yeah, well, for sure. Like you said, when plans over, I think this is the last hand or second it's gonna to be last. Close. Yeah. Two more hands. Two more hands. Brian calling it out. Again, thank you to Big track, Brian. Boy. Big Brian and, and Benny, Benny in, in the, the box. The running action tracker. It's a lot of bees in that sense. Yeah. Myself, Eddie, the agent sensation, along with Senor Eric, the almighty chop block Anderson. Two hands to go. I feel like when you're in the booth helping with the production side, my analysis is like way better. When I'm like trying to double duel. When you're trying to concentrate on the game and run the chat and run in pull like up pictures. pictures and stuff, like my analysis isn't as sharp. I listened to yesterday and I listened to gonna listen to the night, but I feel like I was pretty spot on on most of my spots. Nice. So, and it's not a function just like I'm good at analyze. It's just it makes a difference you when can concentrate. Yeah, can when focus. I can focus. Yeah. Carlos with top pair is gonna make the call. J Rock with uh, bottom pair and backdoor flush. Every time I say backdoor flush, it comes. Yeah. He can represent that ace now. Carlos might just get away from yeah, the Yeah, he just jack. has to hate Shows the life jack and right now. All right, last hand, guys. Going to shut her down after right. this. So we'll end the stream go over, going over the stats. All right, and we'll also... Uh, we're gonna leave up all of the uh, advertisements. I'm just gonna oh, let, that, sc let, that, sc I'm like, gonna let uh, that scroll while we're yeah, talking. Yeah, like, I'm down with that. Yeah. Normally we pull up a camera so they can see our beautiful faces, but uh, ain't no need for that. We're good. We're good. Is it cold in here today? It is cold. Okay. I asked them to turn up the air conditioning because I'd rather be cold than hot. That's fine. Yeah, I, I, mon on Monday when Sweat. Larkin and yeah. Lego were in here. And it's like 100 degrees in this little box. Not Lego. I mean, sorry, Larkin and Tiny were in here. I was like, bro. I was like sweating profusely here. Last hand here, 106. Danny makes it 100 with King Queen. They, they were uh, they were getting some hands in today. Yeah. 106. They 6% more than average. Three, five, eight. Carlos has middle pair. Danny has two over cards. J Rock has no part of it. But back he has backdoor back clubs. Backdoor straight. Even though Carlos and Danny have. Yeah. He's not going to see any backdoor stuff. Right. He gone. Oh, he's not. He's coming along with yes. 125. He's up 16K. He doesn't yeah. He's like, well, you know, worst <laughs> case is I, turn, I fold on the river. It's going to be a 10 on the turn. Okay. Uh, Jack ball. He's probably done. Yeah. With his hand. Carlos needs to dodge a 10, a queen, or a king. He makes but trips. Straight. But he back makes door trip. spades get there. He's got 6K in his pot, which you're going to bet. 
700 in the pot. He's got 6K, 250. I like it. I like it a lot. He's They're like, going to let it go. We're done. All right. Turn so, down that table mic real quick. All right. We we're going to turn I, off the table let's mic. Let's go over the stats real quick. Let's first, uh, just to make us feel better about so ourselves, just, yeah. pictures. And go. There it is. All right. Now, we're thank you, everybody, stats. for tuning in to this. Five five ten Saturday match to stack live stream here at Poker House Dallas, Poker House Live, fun action packed evening Shane again. Just about broke even, broke right? Even, yeah. All right. He played for a while and uh, he's down about one hundred and fifty. Uh, let's take a look at these V pips. Not surprising. OFC he wins it again. Wins it again. Back to back nights. J Rock as well had a V pip high V pip last week. Again, Carlos, Shane just sitting down. Bridge, Mike in the 30s. Wasn't expecting that. No, not at all. He, yeah. He got, uh, he loosened up a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if he's watching the stream and then coming back and going, I should loosen up a little bit. Yeah. And so Gator Danny Moneymaker, lower, lowest fee pips on the, on the table, pre-flop raise percentages. Oh, I forgot to hit this button. Oh, pre-flop raise percentages, 17%. No, uh, you know, with the exception of Bridge, Mike, Shane, and Carlos, again, Shane, uh, Shane doesn't count because he just got here. Yeah, so he didn't. He played for about an hour or so. No, he played, yeah, like 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes, so. Maybe you know, maybe 15 hands. Yeah, pre-flop race percentages right there for you guys. Aggression frequency. Yeah, aggression frequency. This is some pretty high aggression frequencies. Yeah, I would expect that Yeah. at so. this table. And uh, here's, the, here's the big one, guys. Yeah, so... Big winner. $17,000. That's better than last week. That's sick. God, he's 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 up 32000 In two sat On a 5 five ten table. 37000 yeah. No, 32000 32, 15 and 17. Yeah. Ballpark. Yeah, Gator getting with a nice week. The last week was up fifteen k, up about yep. 4600 for the day. OSC, the only other winner this stream. So Shane pretty much breaking even. Breaking even, same as Frankie. Danny... Had, was up a ton and then lost at hand when he 4x pot or 4x bet the a river. A lot of that went to J Rock. He went a lot of that to J Rock. So that's where, you know, I think Danny was, you know, even if he overbet like 4K, 4.5K into 3K, whatever it was, yeah. um, you know, he would have had a pretty significant win there. Moneymaker down about 2,300. Bridge Mike down about 5,700. And Carlos. Don't let that loss. No. Yeah, Carlos I played. Mean, don't be results yeah, oriented. Yeah, don't be re results oriented. He played you, solid. Uh, ran so to some good. coolers with trips. You know, two pair versus sets. It's just tough night for Carlos. Just getting beat up. So we're gonna show you. We're gonna end. We're gonna let the cycle through a few times here yep. in the booth. It's our our way. Again, don't worry about the countdown. That was at the beginning, but we're going to yep. highlight these players, some of our advertisements here at Poker House. So take a look at that. See you guys tomorrow for the next gen. The next gen boy is going to be in the booth tomorrow. So that's it for us here in the booth. Eddie, the Asian sensation, along with Senor Eric, the almighty chop block Anderson. That's it. All right. We're just going to let this scroll for a few minutes, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.